Drakenheim is no more. Struck by falling stars upon that woeful eve, the death and destruction were nothing to the madness and terror left behind. Strange crystals lie amidst the forsaken ruins. Fiercely sought by sorcerers and scoundrels. For the shards command a high price indeed. Their magic can forge powerful weapons. But their whispers inspire occult worship. While rival factions struggle to rule the rubble, horrific monsters stalk the haunted streets. What do you seek in that accursed place? Riches, renown, revenge? The destiny of the Dark City is yours to decide. If you survive, All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drakenheim. In the last episode, they fought some gnolls. I have no idea what they're doing today, but I know what they want to do. But we'll see where we go. But anyway, welcome. Sorry it's been two weeks, but uh, we're here now. So, anyway. So, how's it going? It's going. What do you guys want to do? I want to sell my double-bladed scimitar. Okay. So I'm gonna go so you, to the so the Smithy, crow? whatever. Sun, uh, crow and sons. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, so, alrighty. Uh, so he's like, you walk in, he's like, oh, evening. You bring me any more of that meteor meteoric war? Unfortunately, no. But I do have a pretty decent weapon for you that I'd like to sell. I'll give you it's... eighty gold pieces for it. He already knows what it is because he's seen your weapons before. And he knew that you got some new ones. You were because remember, I think you were, yeah, you were in there recently. Oh, yeah, yeah. To, for the meteor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and he upgraded your stuff that you guys had. Eighty mm -hmm. gold. Eighty yeah, gold pieces. Because I had them in front of me. Okay. Right. That's what we did last time. We had lots of those. And I so I could see what. Yeah. You... yeah. Everybody but uh, Gaia is inside of the city, so because she can't come into the city. I'm outside in my little treehouse making good. It's Can actually kind of a nice tree. tree house. house. Are you gonna burn it down? No, it's magical. It's a magic tree. Yeah, Terra Modern wouldn't let me burn her down. Anyway, so what are you guys doing? Are you guys want to do anything before while you're in town? Do you want to go get oh, your potions? Oh, I'm gonna get my potions. All right, so you're gonna head to the chapel. Oh yeah. And she's like, "Good evening, darling." And she's southern, and uh, she's like, "Uh, here's your potions," and she hands you. She's like, 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 uh, what do they call it? Uh, New Orleans southern. <laughs> She's like, here's your potions. You would like it. Would you like to purchase any more? Um, purchase purchase one more. One more potion. All right, forty gold pieces. All right, so that's one more potion added to the pile. All right. You want to do anything else too while you're here, Jordan? Do you know, would you like any more potions? Would you like to purchase some potions, maybe? I mean, you're not going to get them for the price you get them for, but... What's the price of them? If you go to the church, and rather than getting them for uh, 60 gold pieces, you can get them for 50 gold pieces. If you go into the church with Carson. He's in there right now. Yeah. Um... You go in there with his character, you, since you're a part yeah, of the party. Yeah, I'll get two. Okay. So 100 gold pieces. Oh, I got we appreciate your patronage. If you ever need anything, I need you have any diseases or poisons, cures? Why? Well, don't got any risk. Well, you know what? How dare you? Thank you. Yeah. You savage. Did you also, eat my erasers? Yeah. Didn't they give you a pencil with an eraser on it? No. Well, I mean, I have one. Anyway, okay, so are you doing anything while you're in there? What else? Um, I... And yep. Are you gonna DM? Are you gonna crystal ball Jordan your shopping list? Just like, I need this. 
No, I'm only giving it to her. Wait, no, he still got the bracelet. He never gave it to Marlena. Yeah, he never gave a... Yeah, bitch. He it's kind of gave... fitted to him, though. Is it, though? Yeah, because you have to attune to it. Yeah, but we have two more that me and... Um... No, those are separate. Oh. You're talking about those are the pearls. Those are, like, no, translucent no. pearls. No, yeah. he gave me those. I gave yeah, them. They have mermaid's yeah. tear. They have mermaid's <laughs> tear pearls, which are, like, for communication. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, I'm not doing anything with that, but I am in, like, my room just looking at, I have a seal. Okay. I have a seal from the Royal Guard that I'm just kind of, like, looking over. Okay. And I don't think I'm trying to give you love and attention. Go see person. Go it, it. Reminiscing oh. about, like, my dad stuff, and then I... Remember that in the beginning, before hey, we... you have two seals. I have two? You should have your dad's seal as well. I forgot to tell you, I'm sorry. You found one recently, and then you should also have your dad's seal. Yeah, no, I don't have that. This okay. steward. He's the steward. He's the, okay. the steward seal. Essentially like the royal advisor. Steward seal. Oh. By the way, mm -hmm. unless I have disadvantage, I get two rolls on any, uh, against, an, oh, shit, it's against magic. Okay. Never mind. Um, you, so, haven't, yeah, you haven't even come into a magic area yet. Well, what, what are you doing? I so, I'm looking at my father's seal and stuff, and I'm reminiscing over, like, how I got here, like, the journey that yeah. I've been going he on. He gave and it to you, by the way. Okay. Okay, sorry. And I remember in the beginning of our journey, the little group that we met, the three people. Okay. Um, and I remember one of them saying something about a deed. So I want to get up and I want to go look for the others. I know where she is, obviously, but I'm going to go look for them. Not fucking move. Okay. And um, I want to tell them. Especially him, because he doesn't know about it. Okay. I'm to tell him about it and remind him and see if they want to go check that out, possibly. Okay, are you in, are you guys still inside the church, or did you guys leave the church yet? Um, is there anything else we could do inside the church? Not currently, no. Okay, we're leaving. I'm leaving. I'm following. Okay. Could they all get a bracelet? No, this is a very expensive magic item that Jordan had to purchase. I was thinking that way they could all just use those walkie-talkies. Yeah, no, that well, would be I mean, super convenient. Hear. That'd be super convenient for you, but, you know. You but everybody can this. hear. Yeah, we She can didn't hear. start this evening out very good, so no. That's... I was going to ask you, you didn't make it very convenient. You know what? He left, him up, his, he left himself open for insults. It ain't my problem. Hey, welcome to the stream. How's it going? All right, so, um, so, that, so you guys find each other in the center square. Um, so, so I find them then? Yeah, you bump okay. into them. So, Center of town. I talk to you and I'm like, before we came into town, we met a group of people and one of them had touched delirium and we ended up having to fight and kill him. And the other two, um, one of them mentioned that if we ventured into Drakenheim to look for a deed... And it was worth some money. I want to go look for that deed. Okay. okay. You win? Do you think that we are able to survive in that part of the city? If we are careful, yes. If we are careful, yes. You want to go grab a gremlin? Not in particular. <laughs> Would I... Metagaming a little bit. Would I know what's there? Or do you want me to keep that? I mean, you have a rough idea because you lived here since before the, the meteor fell, so you have heard of the noble houses. Okay. So you have heard, you do know where their estate is, but you don't know anything about the inside of their estate. Okay. So I know, like, the location. So, but it's inside, it's inside the city walls, yes. 
Okay. I know the general location, so I can get us where I think he was <laughs> talking about. Yeah. Um, okay. um, let's see if we can um, go through that secret tunnel. Okay, the sewers? Mm -hmm. oh. Secret tunnel! Sorry. Secret <laughs> tunnel! This time let's make sure that we uh, close the grate this time. Throwing some shade! Okay. And he can see through it now. So you guys are heading to the rat's nest then? Yeah, it's probably well. We gotta go grab her. Yeah, yeah. But she's right outside the gate, so you'd have to you could take yeah. her up on the long way. All right, way. so we uh, travel outside the gate. We uh, yell up, "Come on, gremlin!" Uh, um, but as you guys are approaching the gate to leave, uh, Elias Drexel, uh, Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, hands you guys. I mean, of the Hood and Lantern Night's Watch, has he hands you guys um a request to find Petra, uh, one of his lost lieutenants. His right hand, one of his right hands. So he's like, if you can find her, she's in the inner city. And I heard you guys saying something. I heard, we heard you guys speaking about it. What are the hooded lanterns heard you speaking about going and um, finding a deed and of how? Huh? I'm hearing the threat. Mm, yeah. You're out on the outside still, right, right outside the gate. You can hear it through the thing. So you're but... eavesdropping <clears throat> on our conversations now. Just happened. I'm happen. always eavesdropping. Yeah. Happened to hear it in, com in passing. Oh, okay. Um, he heard you guys talking about it on patrol. And uh, you guys are going to um, house, uh, house Dickmore uh, Family Manor. So. Yeah. <laughs> Dickmore, yeah. Is that actually what his last name was on there? No. Yeah. It was Darkmore, but he's a dick, so he's a Dickmore now. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, House Dickmore uh, Family Manor. And Adrian Dickmore was the man, the gentleman that you spoke to about the deed, by the way. Okay. Yeah. I forgot who it was. Yeah. So. I changed it just now to Adrian Dickmore. Okay. So Adrian Dickmore is who you spoke to earlier about the deed. And um, you're going to Dickmore Manor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Dickmore Manor. And he's like, yeah, I heard you guys are going to Dickmore Manor, and Petra is uh, supposedly somewhere around that area of being held. I, we haven't seen her. She was doing a patrol somewhere around that area we last time keep, we spoke her. We'll keep an eye out for it. All right, appreciate you. Thousand gold if you bring her back alive. And if she's dead? I'm not paying for dead soldiers. I guess we won't bring back a body either, then. Bring her back her dog tags because it doesn't. It's not going to cost you anything unless it, your life will be in jeopardy. Okay, so we go grab Gaia. I'm on your shoulders now. We get. All right, so they open the gates for you. Legitimately, a reminder to everybody who's watching: these gates were built for one demon, uh, <laughs> demonling. We're going to call her a demon. I'm What? You got a tiny little body though, and you. you... Hey, I'm only one fight. Sebastian, and what's up, buddy? And pissed off only one guard. Like honestly. Yeah. All right. So they open the gates, they let you guys out, and then they close the gates right back up. Okay. Uh, I go over, and I'm fully expecting to be attacked. Okay. So yeah. The tree is right there outside of town. So. Yeah. Maybe like 50 or 20 feet away from the gate. I really don't care how, I, how it happens, but I'm on your shoulders now, bitch. And okay. I'm basically like leaning over your head going, where are we going? <laughs> did you just do like a, did you just do like a, like a, like a, like a, a super like somersault mm -hmm. off of the tree, out of your tree area? Sure. Down on her shoulder? Sure. Okay. Yeah, uh, don't you dare do what I think you're going to do. All right, so the, no, it's fine. Uh, so the trip to the rat's nest is going to take you guys about two hours. I need d6s for everyone. I need my personal. Four. Six. Two. Three. We suck. Hey, I got a four. All right, we'll play. What did you guys get? I got six, four. four, two, three. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys, it's a very uneventful journey. Uh, and as you guys arise, you see the dead horse laying in the ground. 
I'm taking, taking, mm -hmm. taking the horse, okay. I walk by it because I know she's just going to lay her hands on it, so I just walk by it for her and I just put my hand on it with her. Okay. Thank you. You're such a good soul. Alright, so... Why uh, can't you fucking assholes be good souls? Because well, I... it matters. Um, so what are we wanting, uh, what are we doing? Where you guys are at the rat, rat's nest, outside the rat's nest, looking, peering down into the black. I the am hole. doing... Literally, yeah. push your down. Push I am doing a perception check on that. I got a 14 plus. I got a 16 for a perception check. Okay, uh, it's dark hole. Nothing seems to have really changed, and you don't really. You do hear slight skitterings of rats, but you don't. All right, I'm jumping down first, too. and then I call up for the Goliath, and then those two. Okay. So uh, I let um, you can see in the dark now, by the way. Yeah, I have the okay. helmet. Only fifty feet. Yeah. I can see one hundred and twenty. Yeah. Nobody else. So we will right. be playing Fall Guys some, uh, tomorrow or Sunday if you want to, Sebastian. But I gotta focus. Oh, but your dog is very interested in the class. Okay, so who's Charlotte's following me? Really. What's that smell? Did you smell that? It's your dog. Did somebody fart? <laughs> Did you no. fart? Oh, let's say your lap mat really. Did serious. you? No, I would not. I'm coming. All right, so you're behind me, and then those two. Yeah. All right, so. Okay, so uh, walking down, you guys do see uh, what seems to be two or three small rattlings, very small rattlings. All right, so. <laughs> um, is pretty, pretty I... violent. <laughs> yeah, who's front? You're in front, right? Then yeah. you totally get it. in front, so you would get disadvantage. All right, so I'm, Not if I'm um, moving the there. I am roll for initiative. Uh, no, just roll to attack because they okay. aren't attacking you guys. Uh, roll to attack is because they're babies, each legitimately babies. They're babies. Uh, because they do know that you killed their parent, but they also know that if you killed their, killed their parents, so that you can, they probably could. Um, you. I rolled a twenty. They're legitimate. Not a nat twenty. Uh, that hits. Go ahead and right, damage. So. Wait a minute, does he have disadvantage? No, because he's first. He's, he's in front, front of me. Three, he's rolling, three, he's in front. eight. Oh. Uh, so one, what did he ask? Well, they have, I'm just going to tell you, they have six health. Yeah, well, I just want to see how much I can... You're a shit! Uh, Come on. Shred him. Yeah, I got an 18. Okay, so no, the little is... rat is completely <laughs> dead, and the other two scurry ten feet. So move them. Jordan's right up to where that first one was. I thought he moved right here. Whatever the first one was, wherever the first one was. So there's one space. I think. Right? So the first one was right here. He said he moved here. Yeah, so he, that's where he's at. Okay, the first two moved 10 feet. So move the, sec the second two 10 feet back. Okay. So I'm going to roll a d20 again to attack. Uh, Wait, no. No, no, no. It be initiative time. Okay, so ten, ten, yeah, ten feet. Give me initiative. Yeah, I got. Five. You got a five? Mm -hmm. I have okay. morals, and I don't feel comfortable attacking kids, so I'm yeah, not. that's true. You're out. Yeah. Are you second or are you last? I'm last. Okay, well then you guys don't have to fight. Join the fight. Are you rolling initiative? I'm okay. rolling. Okay. Y'all are monsters. 14. Uh, plus your initiative. Plus but two, two. sixteen. Y'all are monsters. All right, buddy. Get them out of here. Inhumane monsters. Sixteen. Sixteen. Actually, okay. they're inhumane if they attack and hit them for less than sixteen. I think. I need to actually probably do this, huh? There is a reason why I'm attacking. Finish them off quick. Like legitimately, there's a lot. There's a lot of, yes. of babies that are just that weren't in the fight, but they're not really gonna fight you guys. So, like legitimately, you're just gonna be cats. We're basically doing a mass genocide. Yeah. Exactly. For gold. For, for gold. gold. <laughs> and it's easy gold too, dude. Yeah. They're not oh, gonna fight. Yeah. This is the crusade. And I like tickle our toe. You like tickle our toe. Well, I mean, the mouse jumps this way. Catch it with your paw. The mouse jumps. We only this killed way, the other two because he couldn't do it. And then try to learn. Watch its ass. So it is. <laughs> it is. Carson. Rat. 
Jordan. Can I roll for the rat? The rat. No. We attack them for the rat? Can we give the They're rat not attacking, rat? but... You have to kill your party. <laughs> that would be kind of shitty. Listen. <laughs> Don't share your goal with them. They didn't help. Yeah, no. Uh, you guys attack me. You guys are going to... I don't want your tainted gold. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so, uh, Carson, it's your turn. Oh, yeah. But you You're need, you can't, be, uh, wait, no, wait, I can use my do, javelin. Yeah. No, you can't do anything because you don't have to throw it past Jordan and you can't see oh, far yeah. out. So, um. But you can move up right behind him. I don't know him. what to do, actually. You can just move up one space. I'm just going to move up behind him. Yeah. Technically, but, he can actually see. He can see, I but can... also he'd have to throw a javelin past Jordan wait, at disadvantage. And if can... he misses, then he hit Jordan. Can I do what Marlena did with me? No, because they're out of this fight. They've already said they were out. No, can I, like, give Jordan the help action? You know, he doesn't like, need the help no. action. Uh, he's not really need the help action. Oh, yeah. They, they don't even have a very high... Yeah, they don't have a very high AC. AC. Uh, two? Yeah, like, it's kind of it's kind of bad. Like Okay, I just move up. I'm moving up. It is cold now. Why the hell did you have to turn the AC down? I will open... The, I will close the windows now. Thank you. I am freezing. Nobody else. Bye, Sebastian. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't know Bandit was there. <laughs> See you later, buddy. He did. He slammed the window into your cat. And you wonder what She's all right. Come here, Bandit. Come here, Bandit. Listen, her AC was pretty high. She did. Let me love you. Got you. All right, Neo. Calm down. They're not even gonna try to attack, so I'm not even gonna do the hit. So if Carson uh, does that, one of the the rat at the end. Is going to flee another thirty feet. And that is where right there is where it turns off to the right and then goes straight as well, so they can actually go down the hallway into the main room. Um and then it is Jordan's turn. Yeah, I got a nat twenty. Um, so I'm you, know, you gotta move forward, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm throwing a jab. You need that already. We're just not even gonna count it. He's got six health. Dead. Yeah. So he's dead. He's dead, man. No, he rolled a nat one. Yeah. No, I rolled a nat. One. It doesn't matter. Even if he rolled all of his d8s with his pluses, he would have killed it already. Well, I was gonna throw a jab one. You would have killed it. Yeah, because I have it's plus, plus six. Seven. Plus six. Yeah, it's enough. It's yeah. enough to kill it with just a plus six. All right. Um. Okay, I so that's dead. Uh, are you going to move your remaining 15 feet? To kill the other one? You can't attack again, but you, you can move. Uh, he can move 30 feet. He already moved, though. No, he didn't. He had to move. Wait until you threw, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you can move up. Yeah, I'll move 30 feet. I might go get a chart. A what? Oh, okay. You throw me one while you're up there? You should check mine. Hmm? Yeah, I'll check it. Yours can't be considered a tar. Yours is a whole damn pie. He's no, it's just a giant tart. Do you want whipped cream? Yes. The goodwill is back. <laughs> okay. You can purchase some. You can purchase some more gems for your rest of your party from Malor oh, if you want. Okay. Because she's giving oh, yeah. you a tart. Yeah. I mean, she could always do that anyway. You just can't get them for free. <laughs> Okay, so you're moving. Are you? Uh, it is the rat's right. turn. Yeah. But he's dead. So uh, oh, he's dead. So it oh, is Carson's turn. I'd All right. So I'm gonna move up and collect Two. both the tails that okay. are from the rats that Jordan killed. Alrighty. Do you want one or two? Pies? Yes. Uh, I'll take one for right now. Cause I don't want to be fat. It's gone. You had four cinnamon rolls in two days. Okay, bro, but that doesn't mean. But I would buy. At least I spaced them out. I could have easily eaten them both in one day. All four of them. Okay, so that rat, Carson, picked up the tail. Is that your turn? <laughs> I picked up the tail. Okay, uh, more. he goes 30 feet into the other room and vanishes from sight. So, you can just erase that uh, one. Hey, baby. You guys are out of combat. All right. Something is in the way of the camera. What is it? 
It looks like a cord. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, yeah. they couldn't hear anything. Oh, man. Sebastian didn't say anything about it, either. It's not his job to tell me about the stream. He's 14. Yeah, she's fucking up, Aaron. That was my bad, dude. All right. All right. So, hey, we're back. Everything's working now again. That was my bad. I'm sorry if there was a boo boo and you seen it. Have a pie. Thank you. Or a tart. Whatever the hell you want to call it. You made them. You can decide what they're called. A part. That's weird. Part. Bro, part. <laughs> okay. So, the rattling is gone. You guys are out of comp. The is under my foot. I need dice. No, it's like clawing on my foot. What? what? Probably a cat. Oh, there's a cat under your foot. <laughs> Is she under the couch? Yeah, she's under the couch. Just don't put it up. <laughs> Can't anyway. Uh, okay, so you guys are out of combat. Um, You are currently... The rat ran, ran away. It's into the big room. Are you still so. listening to one, another turt kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you guys are out of combat. What do you guys want to do? I mean, um, you're in lead, Jordan, so you're still going to uh, decide. I'm going to wait on everybody else to catch up. Okay, we... I've been following behind. I just didn't want to do combat. Yeah. All right, so you collected the two rat tails. Yep. All right, I'm just erasing this because we're done. Yeah. All right, so uh, I walk up, like, right to the entrance of the um, main entrance to the main room, yeah. whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. You need to <laughs> Not gonna be a savage. Uh, I got a 21. Okay, uh, you hear what sounds like the chitters of at least 15 babies. Aww. Babies. Bomb. Go bomb. About how far Your are they? has corrupted you. Um, <laughs> about, I would say about 35 feet, but you're not in the chair, so you can, you can move. He needs to be so finished. 30 feet. He used to be all peeve, right, like so, this one's crazier, um, so this moved, brings everybody. No, I, I, I'm going to move very... uh, 30 feet in. Okay, is and uh, there they just noticed you. Is it good? It's good, yeah. They just noticed you, and they it's are good. attempting to run. Roll for, you want to attack real quick? Mm -hmm. Do I just roll to hit? You ended up in the middle of about six of them, and they're all within 10, 15 feet of you. Ooh. Yeah, I can't do much. What do you mean? You could use a special 10, attack. 10, 15 feet. They're like 10 feet away. Okay. I'll I, I want to use my, but, my yeah, that's special weird. right now. So but they if, can get away. There's lots a, of little rat holes everywhere. I'll use a javelin. So it's a 1d12. Okay. Um, nine. You could be fucked up if you use stupid animals right now. That hit. It really would. That hit. But that would be a waste of one. Wait, you didn't roll a hit. Oh, it would be I, funny to hear you... what Baron would have to say in a little round. Wait, or did you? No, you did. <laughs> I thought you got 21. Oh, wait, that was for perception. Okay. Yeah, no. Not one. Mm -hmm. Uh, you... Critically, you get a critical failure, and they all scurry in different directions. Roll for initiative, but they're all about five, six, five to six feet away from their little rat holes. They're about to disappear. I got a seven. I can totally use stupid animals. Not you guys like murdered all of their family. I know. We just want to hear what you would have to say in a little rat kid voice. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if they talk to you guys right now. All right, so you, are you, you're not even close. I'm not you? even close. I'm not even, I start, I head up there, though. I'm headed. Yeah, you're not in combat. You can, you can just be there if you want I can, to. I don't know what to do. I you can just be there. I do. You can just be there. You're, you make your own decisions. I don't know what I should do. do. 
Only three of them are going to stand and fight. The rest are just trying to get away. They're not even in combat. That crest holds up pretty well. I'm starting to crumble a little bit. Did I roll for initiative? That's how gluten drink happens. Um, happens. No, you rolled a natural one to hit. You can roll no matter what Well, that's, gonna, that's why I went with the mini ones for the others because those are. I got a nat 20. Okay. That's your yeah, but it initiative is 23. Yeah, but yeah. So, so it is. Sword of the Rat. Uh, are you enjoying the fight? I shall throw a javelin before they know I'm there. Okay, roll the hit. Are one of the ones fleeing, or one of the ones that are coming to fight Jordan? Um, the ones fleeing. I have a five. Miss. What is that plus your to hit? Plus my to hit is seven, so I got a. Twelve. Yeah. That hits. Okay. Go for damage. I don't remember what it was. They don't have a very high armor class. It is one d six. I got a oh, one d what? One d six. One d six is the cube. Oh yeah. It's the cube. Cube. <laughs> um. Yeah. It's dead. It's ten. Yeah, it's dead. Alright, so one of them are dead. That's one of the ones that were fleeing. Right. Uh, it is. Uh, and roll for initiative. 15. Plus, Plus 2, 17. 17. Alright. So it's Jordan, Rat, Rat, Carson, Rat. The other ones are running away, so I'm not even going to add them to the initiative. They're just going to run at the end of the last yeah, rat's turn. Around. They're almost oh, into their holes. You won't be able to. Uh, so Everything within thir- about forty-five to fifty feet of you. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm doing it like a granny square. Use my javelin. Yeah. But the, all the rats are surrounded on around you. So. Okay, so I so got three. Fifteen anyway. to hit. Okay, yeah, that's a hit. And then a one to twelve. I got an eleven. So. They're dead. Yeah. You were attacking the one that was near you, right? The one that was coming to fight you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm dead. All right, so, so the way that it's connected it is a rat's turn. Whatever this chain is. He's going to attack you for killing his brother. Oh, so maybe I just didn't do my one. He thing. got he a oh, 22. That cancels. Yeah. All right, it's your turn. Uh, wait, no, it's another rat's turn. Uh, He got a 23. That hits. Okay. Yeah, I think it needed to be frozen a little bit. Three points of damage. For that one, because there's just too much work with it. All it right, it is Carson's turn. All right. Sorry. I'm okay. javelins. Yeah. Right, one of the ones that are running away? Just a little bit. Um, yeah. Because they're almost yeah. gone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that looks better. Um, okay. 14. Okay, that hits. Roll damage. As long as it's over a six. Six. Okay, it's dead. Plus, yeah. It's dead. It's dead. All right, uh, so the rest of the rats, so you managed to kill two of the fleeing rats. The remaining, um, what? The remaining ten rats disappear into their hiding holes, and they're gone. Right. So now it's only the two rats that are left. Okay. It is Jordan's turn. Seventeen. That's, yeah, the hit. And then eleven. He's dead. Alright, uh, and it is last one last rat's turn. He is going to attack you, Jordan. And that is a miss. It is your turn, Carson. The other rats are gone, so there's just the one rat left that's fight they're trying to fight Jordan. And yeah, he hits and that hits. Alright, oh, roll. Brave little rat. No. He's dead. Yeah. So this this battle that wasn't really that tough at all and kind of felt kind of sad and and messed up uh, is over. And Yay! you guys managed to slay four rats in this room and two rats on the outside of the other room. Um, they played five in this room. Yeah. Did they? Yeah. yeah. Because well, he killed. I killed two that were ran that were running and three were fighting us. Yeah. yeah. So seven. Seven and seven total. tails. I grabbed two the two in the other room. So there's five tails left. You can have these five. 
Okay. All righty. Uh, the room is empty, and as you guys remember it. Uh, I'm investigating uh, things. We're pulling back up through the sewer, right? It's through the grate, right? Oh, so hopefully. We were supposed to? Yeah. Do you, uh, we want to do a bird's eye scan? That way we can see um, potential enemies. So while they're that doing the rat thing, you guys want to just go up into the, through the grate while they're collecting tails? Yeah, because I don't want to watch them cut baby tails. All, All right, right, so I rolled um, a 14 for investigation of the room. See if there's nothing. You guys have already picked this place twice. Oh, All right. All right, so I... They just didn't know where else to go because this has been their home their entire lives, and they yeah. knolls are gone, their Murderers. families are gone, and they just were they weren't probably going to make it anyway. Okay, so I follow them. Do we want to let one of them go up first? You guys are the stealthiest. Yeah, I was going to say... We they might go. ruin all of your stealth chances if and they okay. go up first. Um, oh, yeah, especially really me. Anything? I always you roll bad stuff. So. hope thing? Enhance ability? Yeah. Yeah. So, enhance... Uh, I need you to... Uh, or... Yeah, it'd be enhanced, enhanced dexterity. It's about 4 p.m. right now, by the way. Okay. So it's starting so, to dim. At 4 p.m.? Uh, well, it's 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 hazy. Okay. Well, I'll cast enhanced dexterity for you. Okay. So uh, you don't... Or, in, yeah. Cast grace. So you have advantage on dexterity checks. Okay. And uh, um, you also don't take falling damage 20 feet or less if uh, it's incapacitated. Okay. If it isn't, yeah. If you aren't incapacitated. So, passing that since one of my level 2 slots. Um, I, I am going to do. I'm also going to do wild shape uh, into a bird. To a small bird. Okay. Like that. I don't give a shit. A uh, falcon. A crow or something would probably be oh, imp- pretty, would be not a out falcon of is, A falcon is a medium sized bird. Yes, but. I'm two feet. It's, you also want to think about what kind of birds you would, you would find here. Falcons hunt live prey, and there's not a whole lot living mm-hmm. left in the city. Uh, so and like crows are scavengers. Either. Because vultures are scavengers. Yeah. Yeah, but they're big. Yeah, well, that's I'll do a crab. Yeah, I'll do a crab. I'm just thinking okay. what would be make sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about it. Because like, if it's out of place, she might get attacked because it seems to see okay. out of place. So, Our dog's outside still. No, he's not. That's the wind blowing open the door. Oh, okay. So I'll be a crow for an hour. Okay. Well, um, you still haven't opened the grate, so you're oh, just a yeah. bird trapped inside <laughs> of a thing. <laughs> well, no. I, as soon as you open the grate. Okay. Well, she hasn't said she wanted to open the grate yet. I also like. Are we doing that while they're collecting the rat tails? So we're gonna. They're oh, they're done. They're done. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're waiting, waiting for you guys. Okay, there. so I'm gonna open the grate then and cautiously get up. Okay. Uh, give me uh, a perception check. All right. All of us. Are um, and just them. So you guys are in a since we're range. now above, I'm turning into a pro, and I'll run and I'll do my perception check now too. With advantage for you because 21. you're above. You get to fly. Alright, perception. Yeah. I got 21 perception. You both got 21. Though. So, so with your bird's eye view... Okay, so you man, first one is yours. Because you can't see. So you're going to see, you're going to hear um, the sounds of cackling laughter, but not very many. Maybe it sounds like two or three. Like a hyena? Rolls. Yeah. Okay. It's like maybe two or three of them. And then, uh, as with a bird's eye view, you see four hyenas because she can hear them, so it's really hard to distinct to make it to to be able to dip, differentiate. Do I still have human common speech, or is it? Yeah, like you can she speak. Still you can still speak, but you would sound like a crow. You would be like like you would sound like a crow from a less maleficent. <laughs> okay. Um. Because your vocal so, cords are different. I am going to not engage in any combat, but I am going to drop down to where she is real quick. Let you know that there are about four hyenas 
In what direction? Well, they're gnolls, but yeah. Yeah, four gnolls. In what direction? Uh, I mean, because you guys are popping up at the city wall, so like right on the outskirts of town. So like there's the city wall, and then there's the sewer grate, and then you guys can face, like, if you face towards the city, you're going to hear on the other side of the house in front of you. So there's a house. Okay, so the house in front of us is basically blocking four gnolls yeah. from us at the moment. Um, I'm going to stay out of combat, and I'm going to stay up above. To kind of make sure that there's nothing else coming at us. Okay. All right. Uh, but you don't even need to make a stealth check. You're stealthy enough, and they're not going to be able to hear you moving around unless you maybe bump into something. So, so. I relate to the guys, though. Okay. Can I still use my thing in bird form? No. Okay, I didn't think so. It'd be cool if you could. Right. Um, so. It doesn't change to shape to the shape. Like when you change your bird shape, all your other stuff just magically somehow disappears, but doesn't seem to just dis- like unequip. Do, do I still get to use that? that? Change. No. no. Okay. So it's just basically like enchanted pocket. Yeah, kind of. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> well, like I have my explanation. So like you, you, but you could still fly up, and they're probably not going to attack you unless you like. Start okay. So with them. before I fly back up. I'm going to let you know, if I fly in a circle, everything's fine. Okay. If you hear me call or something, and I'm flying in a certain direction afterwards, that is where there are more enemies coming at. Um, How long is your wild tree, by the way? One hour. One hour, one hour okay. Um, please let me know. Okay. Before that, like before I'm supposed to change. I'll let that, you know. Just so I can fly back down, because I'm assuming I should know. You'll you'll feel something. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I don't uh, want you to free fall from like 30 <laughs> feet. <laughs> well, because what it is, it's kind of like your bones. It sucks. It actually hurts, especially the first time you do it. It's kind of like your bones breaking and reshaping to change into something. Yeah, I'm only gonna say that we've been practicing with it. Yeah. So. But um, so you'll know when I'll... your bones start to reshape back into the human form. Well, you're no. Okay. You're yeah, form. Please let me know. Um, so, I will let you know. Okay. Or okay, anywhere. so I... So I fly back up. Cautiously climb up out of the sewer grate. Okay, give me, um... Uh, give me a stealth check with advantage, because they're super far away, but you have... Honestly, I probably should have gave Varmac... Varmint? The, uh... <laughs> the boot. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah, you you make it up without any problem. <laughs> Since he rolled a nat one last time. I always roll bad on stone. I know. You well, it's good you gotta roll a disadvantage because you have heavy plate armor. Yeah. Well, you I never. I've never had to roll a disadvantage. So. I know, but you you should have to because you have plate armor. I've been boo 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 booing. So should not you just bad. roll normal because they're so far away? So I rolled, roll, you let you roll with advantage. Because you also have light armor. Yeah, no, no armor. armor. Uh, he has heavy armor, so I'm just going to let him roll normally. That's because they're so far away. But I thought, normally. I thought he didn't I have, have any armor on. Yeah, I just, yeah. just okay. clothing. But Varmint does. I do. I am a well clothed. Alright, what do I have to roll for? Uh, so. You're fancy. I got normally. 10 plus, plus my modifier, which is. Probably 2. Stealth is only oh. dexterity. Um, two. Two. Stealth, you. So, 12? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, that's actually enough. I'm actually almost, hold on. Because you're, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's enough. Oh, yeah. First time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, you guys make it, manage to make it outside of the sewer grate. Uh, what's going on? Uh, what do you guys want to do? Um, what you see is you see a building in front of you. You see an alleyway, which you assume would lead directly to the knolls. You I also would see like the... to circle above where the knolls are. Okay. Um, just so they are aware of that's where. It kind of looks like a courtyard. So it's like there's like a, a, a <laughs> house. Just uh, circling, or are you making noises? Yeah. Yeah, I'll call occasionally. There's okay, so there's house. There's a bit the main house here, like that was covering your view when you guys come out of the grate. And then beside, and then there's an alleyway that like beside the building. 
And then there's like a little, another one that's like a bakery on this side. So it looks like it's squared in, in the middle of it. It's like a courtyard where like the tenants can like, you know what I mean? It looks like a little like water fountain, but it's like kind of messed up. But anyway, um, but anyway, so as you're coming out of the grate, what you see is the, the, the back side of the building. You see an alleyway, which you uh, assume would lead to the knolls. But you see the main road would take you past the alleyway. If you just kept going straight down the main road, you would be able to get deeper into the city. But um, really, you just see a lot of dilapidated buildings. and. So I'm going to walk into the one building and do a investigation check. Uh, the one that's right in front of you? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, just know that you... There's Is that no... the one that the nose are behind? Yeah, there's no... Uh... Give me an investigation check to see if you can find maybe like a cellar, like a cellar door or something to the back of the building. Because there's not going to be a lot of... Yeah, I rolled a 20. Okay. Well, 19 plus 1. But... Okay, so you do see uh, this a cellar door basically one of, like one of... Because I guess it's old school building. They're not going to have back doors. So mm-hmm. like... But you do see a cellar door that would lead presumably downstairs. Um... And uh, as you approach the cellar door, you see that it's been rusted shut. Um, if you get, want to give me a strength check to see if you can open it, um, I would say like DC fifteen. I mean, uh, strength check, a strength fifteen. If you can roll at least a fifteen or higher. You know, also gotta remember, I'm all in bird form for like an hour. Fifteen. Yeah, no, I got a six. I okay. well, you can. I can come and you can try. Yeah, he can come and try to help you. And that I have good you guys, strength. You I've, guys both have good strength. You're both. I you're, rolled twenty for strength. On so just you guys can give me a strength check. Yeah. Give me a strength check again with with advantage. Because <laughs> he's giving you the help action. Well, nothing. Do you want to try? I'm gonna try. Attempt. I'm gonna I need a. I need a. Uh, I'm gonna roll a perception check, and I need. You I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna roll a perception check for the gnolls. Okay, they miss. They fail. Okay, good. Would it benefit me? Noise. Would it benefit me to uh, roll another perception check because I hear the gnolls too? Uh In case there's anything else. You can see what they're doing. But okay. I don't really, there's not really anything else going on. That was really just to see if the gnolls heard them trying to open the gate, okay. open the door. Um, you can try to roll, give me rolls, and then you let advantage. All right. Now, like, because, like, there's nothing okay. here stopping you. I got a 21. 21? Okay. Will, you, will you give me a small flying? Yeah, you want whipped cream? You, yes, please. You managed to open the door. Want the, the the right cellar door and hold on, it makes a really loud sound and they're terrible. Uh, they heard nothing. <laughs> um, they heard nothing. They heard nothing. Um, nothing. so uh, who's going first? I mean, you opened it, so are you? He going was first? gonna investigate it, so I shall give him the okay. So generous. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, so give me a perception check. Uh, to see if you hear anything down there or anything. Got a nat one. Natural one. All right. Uh, you, everything seems good. Seems like there's nothing going on. Down there. It seems good. There's Wait, nothing going on down there. He can also see what fifty feet. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, but he can only see the bottom of the floor. He can't see what's since because it goes straight down. Uh, since I'm following behind him, do I have to roll a perception? Roll one, see if you can see. I mean, you guys, you don't, you can do whatever you want to. If you guys walk down there, you can roll a perception check since he didn't. I mean, you're right there. You're both right there. I rolled a 17 with okay. perception. It's enough. Uh, 17 is enough by itself. Uh, you do hear the skitterings of what sounds like three or four baby rats. This right. is where right. they, this is one of the directions we're, we're they scurry. Some so of them I'm, scurry. I'm jumping in. I yeah. shall follow behind. All right, so I'm gonna do a investigation check on. I got a four. Okay. Well, you know that there's. You can see you. Are you guys? Are, you guys are in there, right? You see the baby rats. 
Well, no, it was like just of the general room. If there oh, okay. Anything. It just looks like a cellar. Wait, like um. You said for investigation. You have a plus one on yeah. all of these. I can pull a three plus one four. Barrel. You guys see some? I mean, it doesn't. You don't really even need to see roll a perception check because I mean. It's a standard cellar. I mean, you got some barrels that would probably hold some, maybe some meat or some flour, maybe but some no, fruits. Like gold or... It's a cellar. I mean, it's not really like, it's more for storage. It's okay. not really. Well, I mean, if you want to roll a stuff, like, you might pull something, but with a four, you're just gonna, it just looks like a you. I will roll one just. To... Like the rats have already started control. wandering. Oh, they all right. Are... <laughs> yeah. All right. So then you didn't attack the rats. They already left. Yeah, they scurried out of there. It's the moment they seen you. They're like, oh, it's them again. They, yeah, they're back. Yeah. They scurried out. If you guys would have attacked as soon as I said you see rats, then maybe you could have killed them, but they're gone now. Um, All right. So I'm going to hop on out, and then yeah. I'm going to look over at the cat and say, hey, you know, we're going to go kill some gnolls now. Do you want to do a perception check? Um, I mean, investigation check? Investigation check. Because he rolled a four. So um, he... I was going to do an investigation check as well. You can't do one for the seller, though. <laughs> Cause... For the building. Okay, that's fine. You just can't do one for the cellar because you're not down there. All right. No, I just look at the building. You can look at the second floor window if you want to. I got a uh, nineteen. Oh wait, no, an eighteen. No, I'm looking to see if there's way that she can get up there safely. Wait, investigation. Oh, okay. I got a uh, fifteen. Fifteen. I got twenty-one for investigation myself. So. Okay. With a fifteen, you do find a, a set of a couple sets of thieves' tools. Um, okay. yeah, so inventory. And then you also find, um, you just find a small pouch with, like, five or six gold pieces in it. Mark, hmm. FYI, the crust is crap. Do what? The crust tastes like crap. Yeah, I prefer to make my own crust when I How do many sets of free. thieves' tools? Two sets. Well, with the pudding, it's not bad, but by itself, it's it's crap. Okay. What are these so, thieves tools? You find a lot of rotten apples and food too. Like, like not rotten. Because it doesn't. Nothing rots in Dragonheim. What do these tools basically. contain? Like, when I make my own. I mean, like lockpicks. Like, like, I mean, but you don't. Guys, it doesn't matter. It's just standard set of tools. Right, I mean, make a really good crust with it. All right. So I'm. You just hop- rolled so low, you couldn't find anything. I'm hopping up, and. Oh. There is an entrance. You do see an entrance that does lead into the building. Like there is a way to get into the building from the inside of the cellar. Did you roll? I got yeah. twenty one. Okay, I'm sorry, we're dealing with them too. Okay. I'm only one person. I'm very bad at multitasking it for only now. You acknowledged me. I, I acknowledged that you wanted to do something. Okay, twenty one. With the twenty one, I mean you do see some with some drain pipes on the side of the building that look sturdy enough for her being a little bit more lighter weight to be able to climb up on the back side of the building. Okay. I'd like to go down to her and let you know, relay that to you and say, hey, uh, just so you have a bird's eye view, in out of danger, there's this way that you can get up on top of the roof. Not to be a shithead, but as she walked out of the grate, she probably could have noticed that pretty easily as well, though. It's right there in her face hole. Like, it's right there. You know what? I'm just letting you know. Okay, so I'm... <laughs> I'm By the way, out. while I'm getting out of the grate, I'm, I'm losing it. Um, okay. I'm hopping out of the building, and I'm. You got out of the grate, right? Yeah, I. Go I the grate. I you just did it. Okay. Okay. I'm going back to circle. Okay. Carson, uh, like, but, not again. Well, by the way, Carson, you and Jordan see a, a way to enter the building that you guys are underneath currently, like a set of stairs that lead up into oh, the building. Oh yes, I'm going. What's up? Are you climbing up? I'm going to climb up. All okay, right, so I give guess me, a, me and Barmack are going to be in the house. Then. Give me an athletic check to climb up this, um, to climb up this, uh, pipe. Oh, shit. How does that work? I have a minus one to athletics? What? Yeah, I'm a That cat. doesn't seem to make sense. That don't make sense at all. <laughs> it doesn't, but that's what I have. 17. 17. Okay, well, you make it up. No problem. Uh, you make it to the top. Give me a stealth check. And I have advantage, right? Mm-hmm. How does that... You have cover as well. They can't see you, but they can maybe... Well, she did a spell earlier. But you also have cover, so you already have advantage. 
Okay. Oh, it's one on one. Okay. They don't notice you at all. Um, yo, what up? How's it going? Oh, yeah, you have the park right. You have stability. Oh. Okay, so me and Barmack are no, up in the house. Don't have his word, um, but... We yeah. wanted to go up the, up the staircase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, walking oh, up the stairs. staircase, um, you do see, as soon as you walk up the staircase, you, there's a door. You, what do you, you want to do? Like, you're, there's the door that presumably leads to the, the first floor of the building. Do you um, want to burst through? Do you want to open it slowly? What do you want to do? Open it slowly. Open it slowly? All right. Right. Um, right. So, you come out and you do see over the top that this seems to be the ba the, the, the inside of the bakery. Um, at looking out, you do see like what's like a kind of like one of those windows where you would sell stuff to your customers, and then you also see a door that seems to be missing off of its hinges. So basically, you it you see half cover. So if, and you also see the knolls on the other side in the courtyard. So if you were if you wanted to, you could take cover near the um right there over the counter mm -hmm. behind, behind the counter. What's up? How tall is the building? It's two stories, so like, I don't know, like 20 feet? Yeah, like 40 or 50 Quite feet up. Quite that fucking size. Yeah. Well, more, more than that. It's like 40, <laughs> 30, 40 feet. Could I attack and then hop back so that they don't see me like I'm still on top of the building, but like I shoot and like they look up and don't see anything? Um, oh, you mean like pop up, fire? Yes. Uh, they will. It will be a uh, stealth versus that. Uh, stealth versus perception. So I have cutting action though, and I have sneak it, attack. It doesn't matter. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I want to do. You like, roll. You can attack with an three? advantage because they don't know you're there. There's four knolls, four. but you only from the, from your position you only see one knoll because you're above and oh, there's yeah. I'm gonna say that's the knoll that I see. Okay. Right. Are you? Uh, are you gonna say? Are you just deciding where they're at? Fine. What knoll do I see? That one in the back. Move it up. Move it back three three squares back. This one. Yeah, back that way. So it's towards us. Yeah. Move the uh move the one over to your uh over one more. That one. Move that one. Uh, down here. No. Like over there, right there. Face them out a little bit. Also, uh. Two squares this way. Jordan is are you presumably crouched behind that thing? Okay, that's where Jordan's at. I'm like right with them in that bakery room, whatever. We can say that you're forty feet up, right above them. Okay. And Charity is flying around and she can't really participate in combat too well as a Crow. She could be a great like distraction. She could, her, she could poke some Ooh. eyeballs out if she wanted she to. She could be a great distraction. Yeah, but if I also get... Uh, she's also got a really good spot to see if any other gnolls are coming and stuff like that, too. Job. So, like, she's kind of a lookout. Okay, so is this the gnoll that I see? No, you see the one in the back. That one? Yes. Okay. Because these ones are up, kind of up against the building. All right, a I, bit. Got, I gotta put my crochet shit away. Give me a second. This is serious. <laughs> Okay, hold so. My hoops. What? <laughs> hold my hoops. Hold my hoops. Hold my earrings. <laughs> okay. So I have. Would this count as a sneak attack? Yes. Okay, so I need 2d6. I need a heavier dice. Beautiful. And then for my. I'm gonna do. You do need a roll to hit with advantage. I will, but I'm getting my dice ready because it's okay. uh, amazing. Guys, you could just roll shit completely. Mm hmm. It happens. Okay, fine. Like, you could just roll shit. So, like, I don't want you to just I be do too have excited. advantage, though, don't I? Yeah, two yeah. rolls. Advantage because you're in stealth and they don't know you're so, there. Plus four, too, so. 13. Yeah. See? Get overconfident. You missed. Sorry, C is 16. You missed. But if I'm I need like, um... I need a stealth check with disadvantage be a no, regular stealth check because you're in cover, but also it cancels it out. 
What'd you get? Nine. Yeah, uh, it's just a you fucking see him. You roll C, that's what I'm saying. But they did just fire, she did just fire an arrow, and they're not the brightest tools in the shed, but if a fucking like arrow hits a wall behind them, it makes sense, and the angle that it hits the wall, it makes sense that... Okay, they're gonna go do mathematics now? They don't need to do mathematics, it's just common sense. <laughs> I think that's mathematics. Bro, Sorry. if she would, if she'd have rolled better, if she'd have rolled better, I said you might roll for shit, and then she rolled for shit. I'm sorry. You cursed. Yeah. So you miss. The knolls know where you're at. The knolls know where you're at. We didn't do much time together. We did know. Fuck you. But you can disengage behind cover. I disengage. All right. Give me another stealth check with disengage. Why are you taking my seat? Give me another stealth check with disadvantage. Point. Okay, fine. I need to pet my dog for good luck. Also, I'm going to need initiative after this. For you, anyway. And they're, because they're, she's a bird. I don't know about them yet. I'm a bird, I'm a bird, I'm a bird. Okay. Uh, 14 plus, plus 4. 18. 18. Okay, I'm just going to say that they don't know you're, they know that you're up there, but they don't know where you're at. They've been rolling shit. So, well, I mean, since I disengaged, can I try again? No. Damn. Give me initiative. They know you're there. I think my initiative is plus two. Yeah. So like your stealth, but they know you're on the roof. Eighteen. Uh for your initiative? Yes. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna roll initiative for the uh, the gnolls now. I was kinda of thinking that too, so I'm gonna go after you. Alright. So You in battle, bitch. Yeah, what did I put my cover up? All right, so. Noel. Marlena. Wait, hold on. I need to roll one more for. Two Noles. Marlena. Noel. No. All right. Carson and Jordan, what are you guys doing? Carson, are you you're presumably on the staircase still coming up out of the cellar? Alright, well, um, um so going. I am moving. Oh. <laughs> Good shot! <laughs> I am moving Take over. out the door closer to that one. Like right in front of it. You have an advantage right now. You have an advantage. If you you can attack with a javelin, you have advantage. Stealth, you're stealth. And they're focused up. They're focused up. Okay, so the thing that I'm crouched beneath is the window. Gone. It's yeah, it, it, it's like um, uh, it's like one of those um, it's kind of like a stall, but like it leads into the side of the inside inside the bakery. But the yeah the the um the thing that would normally be pulled down at night okay. is gone. I so you can see. Yeah, you just need to roll the hit with advantage because you're stealth for your jabby. Alright, so I rolled a 14. Um, with advantage? Okay. Um, that misses. Roll for initiative? Yeah, roll for initiative. I normally do one. 17. <laughs> 17? I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> no way. You live with a lot of women too. I don't even know. I normally do. I normally do. Don't do that. Don't do what? Okay, why do people give us so much shit about leaving Quail Kid up? Like Because we got so much shit for taking care of children and feeding y'all. For years. Okay. It's but okay my to thing you is, to point to a seat down. Of course, my thing is, shouldn't you, like, roll a perception check on the toilet before you sit down? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it could be a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're sick. He's trying to eat me. Uh, right. Carson, uh, you're the only or one who's still technically not. Oh, my God. Uh, you're on the staircase. Are you going to try to get where Jordan's at right now? Or I, to cover? Or what are you going to do? I don't know. Um, you, can see, you can see. You can see out. Box. Of so the door, like if you walk cheek walk out, you can see the knolls, but they don't know you're there yet. Walk but walk if you try to move, you have to roll self check because of your armor, and they are it's looking in Jordan's direction now, like, and okay. your direction. Okay. So I'm just gonna roll a self check and go up the stairs. Well, you're already up the stairs. <laughs> oh, well, you're just going outside. You're not in the basement. 
You could theoretically <laughs> here. I'm gonna give you an, op an option just because it's you're so not superficial. You could Are jump you out of the door, throw a javelin, because there would be like the time you could just jump like this, throw a javelin, uh, with disadvantage. But if you hit, then it would be uh stealth damage. Oh, you're good. And because that's the only way you would get the sneak attack because without them noticing you. It wasn't that thin. The crux? No, I no, it wasn't that. But it started a problem. Alright, so give me two d20 rolls, whatever the lowest one is. Even with the crux. Plus the hit, though. Plus the plus that right here. Um, it is. It does because it's not as um. It's not, no. it's not. It's not at least a uh, fifteen. So you probably no. use like a it's rice. Only uh -huh. all right. And so... this, give me initiative. Roll d20. Seventeen plus two, nineteen. Okay. Roll fish net. All right. We have our initiative order. I love how I bought three bags of chips and nobody got chips. And it is your turn first, Carson. Chips. Chip. I'll start eating. I'll get some chips. Yeah. yeah exactly. It's my turn. Yeah, it's your your turn. Do you, right. That's where you're. So at. am I like right beside Jordan? That's though? where you're at. No, you're behind him because okay. you you jumped out and you you're one, but you're not right behind him because you threw a javelin. You're like to the side of right where the forty is. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, I am going to throw a javelin. I at... love you so much. Is this what you bought you chips for me, didn't you? Oh, I love you. I got you chips. I know, fuck Baron. Alright, so I hit what the... What do you mean? I hit it's the so one. It's so inconsiderate. I'm the one who I hit... Oh, yeah, that's fair. And she didn't even get me any chips for my dip, so none of those chips I can use because they'll break apart. Oh. Yeah, she's inconsiderate. <laughs> no, she's only inconsiderate of you because she deals with your ass 24-7. I was just messing with you. No, so you hit the one person first. I hit the no, no, one no. in front of Marlena. Was it higher than higher than fifteen? Yeah. Okay. I hit for Go down. Uh, for eleven damage. Eleven damage. Yeah. Okay. Those fights are good, huh? Yeah, they're not bad. They are really good. See, what I did is I bought two banana uh, cream puddings. Was it right? And I got a vanilla. Okay. Like Which one did you hit? Oh, I oh this one right here. Okay. Okay. All right, it is uh two Noel's turn. Uh, so they are going to move inside the building. Two Noel's are going to move inside the building. Two Wait, words, two. Those, those two right there, the one that Carson attacked. Yeah. And then the one beside it. are going to move into the building. That's the door right there beside Jordan. Right there, that one. So that one's going to be in. And the other one's going to be in the doorway. Like, oh, right in front of where the line. No, 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 no. Over one. In front of the line, because that's like a countertop. So, uh, they're both going to attack Jordan. Um. Uh, the one beside you, Jordan, got a natural 20. The other one missed. I am going to roll. Here. We're not doing that. Shit. One d6. Nope. Two. I'll just hear as we're rolling. Seven damage. Uh, and the other one missed. So now it is uh uh Marlena's turn. Okay, for uh nineteen perception check, do I see anything weird? See any new gnolls in the area? No, nothing's really happening right now. They barely noticed you here, so. 18. Um, wait, that was with advantage? Yes. Um, the only one you can see is the one in the back. That one? Yeah. Okay. So. So. 18 hits, roll damage. It is self damage. So. 1d8. 2d8. It's, 2D8. it's like. A natural 20. I need another D8. 
That's a D8. You I don't want to deal use with? the plastic because they're lighter, and I want to use two about the same weight. And then your brothers, damn. Right. My sneak attack is a two D six. Okay. Wait, would this count as a sneak attack? Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Okay. Whammy. It's about to go down. Mm -hmm. Um. Can I add anything else to it? No. Damn. Okay. Okay, so I have a seven, eight, nine, nine plus ten, nineteen. Nineteen damage. Nineteen damage. That's a whole lot of damage. Um, question. Hmm. With the investigation check I did earlier, is there any way that the bolt can get to the roof? They go around the building. Mm -hmm. With the pipe. The same way? Yeah, they're not gonna. That one at the end actually might, but. Oh, all the other ones are too far and kind of engaged. Speaking of, it's George's turn. Okay. Is it extremely bloody? Yeah. Awesome. It's hurt. Awesome. So, it's hurt. I think that 23 health. I'm gonna use okay. my queen swords. Pretty sure. Uh, I do not. Okay. Yeah. Is it my turn? Nope. Oh. No, no one in the back gonna um fire up at you with disadvantage. He knows you're there. Right. Like, he doesn't know where you're at, but he's just firing randomly. So it's just basically a shot in the dark. What if the arrow comes back around? <laughs> Not a boomerang. <laughs> if he gets like a one, can he basically destroy the pipe? No, because there's no, it's nowhere near it. If he gets a nat one, that arrow must go straight up, come back straight down. <laughs> um, not a natural one, but he did get a my AC is fifteen. Well, oh, I'm trying to see what their to hit is. Oh. It's nothing. <laughs> Um, so it's he rolled a 14 and he misses. I'm saying they're to hit, they don't get it to hit bonus. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. They instantly hit. So, whose turn is it now? It is another Noel's turn. Okay. That's the one around here. The end. Over okay. Here. He's going to try to move. He's going to move around the building. Over one. Yeah. He's yeah. going to move 30 feet that way. That way. Do you know the way? That's not 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ooh. The building's about 15. Is he behind the building now? Yeah. Uh, he's on the pipe. He's right by the pipe. Oh, shit. They know you're there. They just don't know where you're at. All right. I'm going to follow him and just cough. Yeah, because I don't know about that one. Okay, yeah, he's not going to do anything else. That's the end of the turn. Carson, it's your turn. Get it, person. I'm just following these fuckers. Yeah. Okay. Do I draw a perception check to see if I saw him move? You saw him move. So. What's that? You have a bird's eye view, I mean. That is the one that's at the pipe. He can climb the building, basically, to get to Oh, me. okay, so he's not in the building? He's no, outside no. the building? Okay, he, yeah. He's got a boss around the building. Is this, like, the inside of the building? Yeah. Yeah, three squares, yeah. Okay, take it back to you. There you go. Alright. So I'm going to um attack the one that I hit earlier. Okay. With um my morning star. That yeah, is the yeah. one that is the one that's right there beside Jordan. Uh inside the building. Yeah. 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 I didn't hit him. That door is serious. You can go uh -huh. close it. Well actually no the lap no lap. Uh, okay, that is your turn. Um, it is the Null's turn. It's the two... No, that's not their turn. It's the two Nulls right there. Alright, they are going... Can you just leave it open? I can't close it. Attack away, Jordan, and they both miss. So. If they both they miss. It is Marlena's turn. Why don't you just target to the door handle? 
Because sometimes it doesn't work. What? Your turn. I'm assuming you're talking to the one in the back? Yeah. You don't know that the other gnoll's moving towards you. You could, no, you, I don't. You could do a perception check. You have to tell her. You have to physically yeah, you have to go down and tell her. <laughs> you technically what haven't caught yet. Even if you call, she'd still have to roll a perception check in the heat of battle to see if she hears oh, yeah. you. To hear. Because she's in hyper focused on I got a 19. Goes. I'm following it and call. call okay, it. yeah, that's a hit. Give me a uh, roll, roll for damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically like. I'm thinking that dead. this bugger's moving to where she is. Even if she calls, she knows that there's. 23. It's, I mean, it was dead already. I mean, it only needed three damage. Dead. Okay, now oh, I can focus on the. Yeah. All right, definitely do. Yeah. Uh, so it, that was your turn. It's Jordan's turn now. All right. So. And 15. I don't hit. You don't hit? 15. Okay. Uh, okay. It is no null. It is. Uh, well, actually, one of those nulls is dead. Never mind. It's only one null. All right, so that one null is going to do an, uh, climb up the wall. He's got to do an athletics check. He succeeds. He is I, up on top of the building with you. I'm going to fly, yeah. I mean, I'm going to fly, like, right next to you and go and just, like, Yeah, I need, I need you to give me a perception check down. anyway to see if you hear him or hear him coming up the pipe. Well, I'm going to go right, I'm going to fly right next to you, too. Like, just yeah. going, hey, behind you. Yeah, but I just wanted to see if she heard him on his way up, you know. Eleven. Well, hold on. Let me get a stealth check for Polo stealth. Uh, yeah, you hear him pretty easily coming up. Sounds like uh, a toddler climbing uh, the, the, the jungle gym. <laughs> um, and he's cackling on the way up. Not very stealthy. Mm -hmm. uh, he's like, oh, I'm going to get her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get her. All right, so he's on top of the building in that corner. Oh, yeah, almost had it. So can you give me right there in that corner square at the end where the pipe would have been? Inside this box. Inside the box. Yes, with an arrow pointing up. Just give me an arrow and then uh, put a null, the null there. Uh, I also he's going to take a shot at you. Okay. Because he can see you. It's it's daytime. It's kind of hard for you to be stealthy. Right. In the daytime with nowhere to go. So. 15. Uh, yeah, it's a miss. Uh, it's the arrow grazes, uh, gra just blows right past your head Ooh. with a 14. Uh, and it is his turn. Is That's his turn. Carson, it's your turn. All right. Um, you get two nails, knolls in the building that you can see. The other the other ones are gone. I'm going to attack the one I, I tried to attack last time that took damage. All right, yep, that's fine. I hit him. Alright. 18. I mean. Alright, roll for damage. I trust you. Um. My math? No, math one. Wait. This one? Your math time is. Your math one. And then. Would my twin swords count as a simple or a martial weapon? Um, uh, your twin swords. Oh, you're talking about the, the twin scimitars? Mm hmm. Uh, they're this martial one. weapons. And this one. So if I have a proficiency in martial weapons, so I can advantage. Uh, no, with proficiency you get plus two to the damage. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Uh, I hit him for twenty-eight damage. Okay. Wait. He, he he dead. It don't matter. Oh, okay. He dead. Plus seven. He so only has have eleven him. hit points left. I hit him for like thirty-five. I am going to roll a perception Ooh. check to see if I hear anything coming. Because I'm uh, assuming we made a bit of noise. Um, hold that thought for like two seconds. Just for two seconds. It's a Noel's turn. It's so, in between turns. I know, but hold on. You don't want to roll it now. You can't multitask. No, I'm saying like, I can multitask, but okay. you don't want to roll it now because it'll just be a waste of stuff and check. I'm going to roll to see if either one of these Noel's calls for aid. Damn it. Uh, neither one of them do. You can roll me your perception check now. Well, as soon as I get my die back, thank you. I just wanted you to hold it to see, just to see if you would have noticed that they were, they, they, that the two more were coming because they made a call, but they didn't. But you can still roll it, though, if you want to. Oh, so they were calling for help, but they They didn't. were going to call for help, but they, they were, they grabbed their horn, their no horn out, and they kind of fumbled it and dropped it, and that was their action. Can I pick up the horn and fly away with it? Uh... You, it, it's on a strap, so you can give me uh, a. Light of hands? 
No, you don't have any hands. Uh, <laughs> Slide of claw? Slide of claw. <laughs> Give me a dexterity check. Because they're not really concerned with you, and uh, give me a dexterity check. Uh, yeah, just give me one. DC ten or higher. No. 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 Okay. No. No. Okay. I got seven. All right. Uh, yeah. No harm, no foul. They're not really paying attention to birds right now. They're in the middle of a fight. Like ha, they ha. Okay. Uh, it is my next turn. Uh, you can't see. Only one you can see is the one on the roof with you now. Right. There's only two left anyway, but still. Okay, I hit it. Okay. I got a 19. Give me... um Anything over a 15 damage, and he falls off the roof. Okay, so 5 plus 5 is 10. 10. That's 15 exactly. Okay, uh, 15. He he takes, takes it to the arrow to the side. And stumbles backwards, lands off the roof, takes, and that's, I mean, hold on, I mean, if I want to get him into roll, I mean, just roll. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he did. If he went, if I would rolled anything lower, he would have been hurt, but okay, he, like, alive. There's one left, um, that? and it is, yeah. it's Three. Jordan's turn. You gonna run out there and just start stabbing it? He can just stab it from here. This is a counter. Got a twenty six with my twin. Okay, which one are you attacking with? I think you did. Swords. Because like you remember, it's offhand. The offhand one doesn't do any of the right or no? How do we? Yeah, the offhand does not do anything. But um, the off, yeah, the main it doesn't does. do the other effect. I mean, he has full health. This one has full health. This one hasn't been hurt at all yet. It's the only one I mean, that wasn't. It damaged. is three d eight plus a one d four plus two. Okay. So five, eight, fifteen, twenty. Twenty points. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's hurt, but he's still alive. Three HP. All right, he's gonna call for aid. He's fucked. Fucked up. Leaning over a ten, and he succeeds. He doesn't succeed. Uh he's hurting. Uh He's going to use his movement to move uh, 30, 30 feet. Try to get away. Just so does that direction. give me that an direction. opportunity as well? It does, uh, it does not because yeah. you are behind a counter. But Yeah, you can hit him in attack. You don't have any trouble. You're not covered, but Wait, he, there is a wall between um, you. How much damage did you deal? 20. Oh, he, he got has two. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he just has two health. Okay, uh... It is Carson's turn. All right. Um, javelin. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna javelin him. I don't feel like you're following so you this at Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna move right there. So move. Okay. Well, he. Too far. I don't got that wingspan. I mean, you could just move to the doorway or outside, just outside the doorway. I'm just gonna move right yeah. So we don't have anything in your way. I mean, the workers are closer to you two. Javelin. No. Calm down. And you're not doing anything but flying around anyway. It's a tribute. Yeah, cock cock. So, like, I didn't hit him. Okay. Uh, that's a miss. The dragon scoots right past him, and it is Marlena's turn. Okay, that. And you can hit him now. He is within view of you now. 12 plus your. Uh, 16. That hits. Roll damage. Actually, don't roll damage. He's got two He's life. Dead. He's got two life left, dude. He's You're dead. You're done. Okay, fight's You're over. Done. Uh, what are you guys wanting to do? I am gonna lay on hands, pull Jordan. Wait, he, did you take any damage? You took three damage. Well, I'm at twenty-eight right now. My maximum is thirty-eight. Oh, okay, lay on hands. Well, no, exactly wait. ten health, so he's full health again. There. Okay. Um. All right. How many gnomes were there? Four. You realize you can also like negate poison effects. There's no poison right now, though. With your lay on hands? Oh, let me see. I don't remember. Okay, so while you guys are busy trying but to figure out what way... Why don't we take one null? Yeah. Even though I killed two of them. You're up top, and there's no null Actually, nearby. Actually, she doesn't deserve one. She's a bird. She can't even grab a null anything right now anyway. She can't cut anything off right now anyway. 
You're she's still a bird. Um, so I cut off all the Nolliers and I distribute them. Um, the only one you me, Varmac, and you have you get three Noll. You get wait no six three times six. So oh, three times two. So nine, right? Three times two is six. Six six Nolliers. They have would have to go through the basement and stuff to get back around or go around the building. I'm assuming you're you're just gonna slide down and you can get that Noll. All right. So yeah. then I just what. Three with Barmac over there. Okay. okay. Alright, so three each. Uh, Alright. Jackasses? Yeah. I did the work and I didn't find where they were. I'm a, I'm a, I'm the DM. Yeah, I ain't got no control over them. Doing the fighting. Okay. Fine. I won't tell y'all where those She made are. us pies! <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh. So, yeah, you get two no layers, beautiful women. Uh. She's a cat, get it right. She's my beautiful human, shut up. She's a cat. Outside of game in real life, she's my beautiful human. She's a uh, cat now. So, then I'm a beautiful cat. What are you guys wanting to do? Are you guys wanting to check <laughs> for your surroundings? Or... I'm going to do an investigation check inside the bakery. Okay. There are four more bu- There are three more buildings you can go through. And you know. she does only have an hour for her transformation. It's only been about 15 minutes. Okay. Like, I that fight didn't have, take very long. I would like to do, like, a fifth, like, fly, like, a 20-foot radius. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, just, yeah, do that. Um, and do a perception check. Uh, I'm gonna say if you can do a circle of, like, no, oh, that's not enough. That's no, 20 no, foot. No, no. That's not enough. Radius. Oh. I would no. say, I would say you can go, I would say that you can do, uh, Okay. Yeah, so... Radius. It's been a while since I've been in there. Um, give me a perception check with advantage, because you're, um, you're above everything. You got first eye view. Like, you wouldn't be able to see anything inside the building, but... Can I do a mulligan on that one? It bounced. Mm, I don't give a shit. Yeah, whatever. Cool. Uh, 18. 18 with an 18 uh you do not spot any enemies but you do spot something purple and shiny jutting out of some debris uh about uh, right on the other side of the building so is it a meteoric debris or uh and it is a pur- purple shiny debris go down oh, and do an investigation you can perch yourself yeah you can perch yourself on the building like the back side of the building that was okay that, well, that well he's Investigating that building, I'm gonna go into one of oh, yeah. the other three. Yes. Investigation check. Okay. I got I got a thirteen. Uh it looks like Valerium didn't see your eyes. Alright. So I'm gonna return to I got her 13. and notify you 13? of where the delirium 17? is located. Okay, so seventeen for no Kirby in the bakery. Uh, the in the bakery okay, cool. you do see some or, bread well, that really, food no served by the eggs that you can use your purify food on. Okay. Uh, you also see some cheese, um, you see some meats, and you also see, um, a couple of pastries. If you really did, if you wanted to, you could, uh, use your spells to purify the food if you wanted to. Right. But, and then behind the counter, you do find 15 gold pieces. Um, in your building, um, which to your eyes seems to be an armory. I think I'm just gonna perch on your shoulders. It seems to be an armory, um... You do find um Let me get closer to that. A black you do find an ornate blacksmith's hammer. Seem to be of, of great value. And also seems to be a little bit about out seems to be a little bit out of place in this particular blacksmith shop as it's it's in the inner city, but it's far from the nicest forge that existed in Drakenheim. Mm-hmm. Um as well as behind it, behind the counter, you do find uh, thirty-five gold pieces, and you find various that da- you maybe you find four daggers. You said thirty-five. Uh, thirty-five, yeah. And you said daggers. You find four daggers. You find two short shorts. You find short a bat short short. You find a battle axe. Um, you do find um some iron ingots. How many? Um, let's just say three scattered about. Uh, some copper ingots. Let's say four. 
you also find um, a, a silver ingot. And you find uh, the remains of you find a broken sword snapped in two, but it seems to be a very fine sword. So if it were to be mended, it might be worth something. It's an ornate sword with a family crest of a stag. Seemed to, it seems like it's a house a house sword, but it might have been being worked on or repaired. Okay. You don't know. I'm going to hey. head to a... Whatever other building, the last building that there was. Oh, we're also need to look for that. Oh, wait. There were two other. The building that she's perched on, there's two buildings. There's two more buildings. There's the one on this side. Then there's the alleyway. I'm back to Marlene and I'm perched on her shoulder back where they are. Okay. I'm heading toward the delirium. Okay, so are you in that? Are you going to that main, the the long building? That one that's covering that wall side? That? Or That, that? There should be a building facing right in front of the delirium, too. Okay. So. Yeah. That's the I'm building that Steve perched on. Yeah, I'm just guiding her to that to the delirium. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that's the bakery. That's the one armory that Jordan searched. That's the bakery. No, the one up the the furthest one's the bakery. Mm -hmm. That's the, you already searched that. Jordan searched that armory. The one over here seems to be um um. I'm pulling this out of my ass right now. Uh, <laughs> No, that's because that's the armor. Uh, that one is a tavern, and this one over here is a home, we like basically like a two-story home type deal. And that one was the tax collector's office. You know all these buildings by heart. Um. So you're. Going, I'm gonna, I already let you guys do something first, so I'm gonna let Marlena do her thing. All right, I'm going to the delirium, and I have the little baggie. So, how big is this delirium? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, she printed something or made something. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. She made something. She wants to grab. All right, I'll let you guys do your thing. Uh, are you going? What building are you going to? I'm going to home. I'm going to the tavern then. Uh, okay, so at the tavern, you find. Give me an investigation check, actually. Wait, there we go. Look at that. She made it. It's a resin delirium piece. The what little roll? crystal. I rolled it. Plus my one, one, four. four? Yeah. Damn. Uh, it looks like a tavern. <laughs> it looks like a tavern that's seen some things. Like, it's, it's falling in, the roof's caving yeah, in. You, you do find some empty it. mugs. Cool. Um, you find, uh, behind the bar tap, I mean, behind the, the tap, you, you find a couple of silver right, pieces, you know, like maybe 50 yeah. silver pieces. Mm -hmm. Remember? Um, but yeah, I mean, you showed us there's a door to your left yeah. that presumably leads down to the cellar. You could check out, but all right, all right, head. I'm gonna let him do his thing okay. real quick. Uh, head to where were you heading to the tax office? Oh. Oh. Okay, uh, so yeah, give me an investigation check. You're on the first floor, there's Nat 20. Natural 20. Okay, so as soon as you walk in, you see a staircase that leads up. To some rooms, and then you see on the bottom floor there seems to be four doors leading to four separate maybe apartments or whatever. What do you want to do? Um, you got a door right to your right, and I mean, right to your left, and a staircase to your right. I'm gonna go staircase. Okay, up the staircase with an after 20. I'm just gonna tell you everything you find in this building. You, 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 <laughs> critical success. Uh, up the staircase, you do find uh, two more rooms. Uh, these seems to be the suites, the nicer rooms of the of the of, in the building. Uh, entering the first room, uh, it has a really fancy bed, big bed. Um, it has um a couple of candelabras with right, like stainless. Uh, they're, 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 they're pure silver can yeah, you candelabras. Sure you find a couple of silver goblets. Mm -hmm. So that, two silver can uh, can no uh candelabras. Without you being made aware first. 
two silver goblets, a silver, I can, I can uh, a crystal that. pitcher. Oh yeah, um, you take the two noyers and make it one noyer for each of those. You people. also find uh, a, a pouch with 30 gold pieces, a couple of sapphires, and then in the next room, this seems to be uh, the room of either an adventurer uh, or maybe a guard or something. But you find a um, a huge two-handed sword on the wall. Mount on, He's going to give me a shot of marble. That has oh, Sorry, uh, the Drakenheim, the crest of Drakenheim yeah. on it. And As we all agreed to give it to you. It seems to be almost see-through. It's like a like a like a um, like a turquoise colored blade. It looks kind of like a crystal. The blade yeah, is made out of pure no crystal. Name. Uh but the room, the rest of the room is caved in. You do find a piece of meteor that struck and landed, and it seems the building was really well made. It actually didn't go all the way through the floor. It actually. Oh, caved right. into the side of the wall and it's just laying on the top on the second floor but it's starting yeah, to, to fall down through down to down the down. bottom so you do find a meteor some meteor yeah. or or yeah. that's like uh like uh i want to say oh, like maybe 50 pounds of ore if you want to so I thought it was one. you want it and as well as like I may have found two. I don't know. I have 15 pieces done. small small pieces of delirium worth about 100 gold a piece you don't know that they're worth a hundred, but they're fifteen small pieces of silver. All right. Uh, is he allowed to touch them, and does he have anything to put them in? Oh. Uh, He's a paladin. Because I have the pouch. Okay, don't add the pieces. You know better than to touch it. All right. But well, well, you I find can. you do find it. You do have, have a kit. And he. Yeah, she doesn't need a kit because she's a she can touch. Yeah, it. I have a kit that I can put. Um, in the thing okay, yeah. As we get like five, ten. Be closer to this um, delirium. I'm gonna fly off of her shoulder and go back to the air. Okay. I'm gonna roll another perception check. Okay. Just above the delirium to make sure that there's nothing past it, because it was like right at the edge of that 20 foot radius, right? Okay. Yeah. Also add. A... Nat 20. Okay. Uh, you're just trying to see if there's anything else. Just like any dings, any more gnolls, rats? No, there doesn't seem to be anything. Normally they're, they're not this close to the wall and you had killed all the ones that were around this area last time in the sewers, so those were just the remainder. Okay. There are, so you do see some gnolls far off in the distance, but none that would threaten you guys currently. How far off in the distance? Uh, probably 100 yards. 200 yards. Uh -huh. Uh, just towards the city center. Yeah, you just head into the city deeper, into the city proper. Okay. So I'm gonna just kind of fly back down. Let you know that there's only like there's a couple of knolls yeah, about good. 100 feet. Going you find the center. and the up downstairs area okay. you find uh, another pearl. When One of those pearls. We get to the other two. You also okay. find uh, 40 gold pieces and. Um, you find some really fine clothing if you, like, put some fine boots and some fine, a fine, like, cloak and fine hat or whatever, you know, like, How something like a nobleman would wear. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, and that was the door to the left in the tavern. What are you doing? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that leads down into the cellar, and in the cellar you do find, um, that there is no haze down here, surprisingly. Um, you also find barrels of a few, a few barrels of wine that seem quite valuable. You also find some barrels of mead, and these are all you're capable of carrying all of these out of here if you wanted to. How many? Uh, two barrels of wine, two barrels of mead, and then you also find a couple of uh bottles of wine that seem up, seem to be of a vintage about two maybe one was about a hundred years old and another one was about twenty five years old. Very, it seemed to be very, very expensive. You don't know a lot about wine, but what you do know is the older the wine, probably. Well, I mean, I am a sage, so I. Yeah. Presume you know you know that older wine are worth some money. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know that you're a connoisseur. And of with wine. purified food and drink. No, there's no myasma down here. Oh. 
This sealed off very well in the cellar. Um, now when you open the door, it started to seep in, though. Mm -hmm. But, like, when you found it, there was nothing. So you're still going to have to purify it. Yeah, all right, so, but that's pretty much all you find. You don't really find anything but some meat down here. Oh, yeah, it's all of our rations going to be uh, contaminated? No, it's more of a prolonged exposure to the miasma. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so all of the other buildings besides the tax building and has been looted completely. You guys have pretty much found everything you're going to find in here. So as I'm by the tax building and I picked up the uh, delirium, I would like to go inside the tax building and raid it. And I'm selling okay. your filter. So. And then I'm heading over to Barmax. Okay, so as soon as you enter the tax building, yeah. you see a gated, a, like a gated, like, bank type kind of deal where there's like a, like a metal grate and behind it is where the receptionist would normally sit. Mm -hmm. And then to your right, you also see a Give me a, give me a perception check. Eighteen. You can't help because you're outside. No, I'm on her shoulder. Are, are you? Okay. Yeah. Give me a. Yeah, a, if I'm not flying, I'm perched on your shoulder. Perception check with the advantage. You said you had an eighteen originally. Yeah. Oh, 20. that's a nat twenty. So the natural twenty, the gate to the receptionist area seems open. Okay. Surprisingly, when it, when the city was when the meat was about to hit, somebody must have left the gate open. Normally, this gate would be locked. It's about to be bone. Uh, inside, if you enter the do you, uh, go through the gate. Yes. Uh, behind the gate, you find a uh, couple of bags of you find a bag of gold with five hundred gold pieces. You also find uh, the uh, dead the dead body of the former receptionist. Jesus. With a key. A I gold want... ornate key. I grab it. And behind, uh, uh, and then you also see um, a safe door right there behind the receptionist desk that leads down. I take the key and I open the safe. Okay. Walking down into the safe area, you find some safety deposit boxes. Um, this key does not, unfortunately, does not seem to fit in any of them. Um. Hold on to the key. It might fit someplace else. Um, so the first, as soon as you walk down, it's just rows of safety deposit boxes. But at the very end, there is a huge vault door. Okay, I try the key in there. Uh, at, it, the key does work on this door. This is the bank. This is the tax vault. Inside, you find 20,000 gold worth of gold bars. Very heavy, too heavy for you to no, carry. Was... You could I carry a couple of them. Not saying, you could carry some of them, but you couldn't carry all of them. I'm kidding. No, I really am not that mean. That is a lot. And we but have to... we can split it all. Yeah. all Him, need to... He, what size character are you? He's a I'm like kid. eight foot. He's large. No. Pounds. He's a large character. I'm large. He's a large? Yeah. So big boy. His weight capacity is extra large. Yeah, he can carry like 500 pounds himself. How much does each of these weigh? Like he could only lift 100 pounds like with his hands, but like he could physically walk with about 500 pounds on his person. How how much is each gold bar? Uh, each gold bar is probably about somewhere between five and ten pounds. Okay. Between the two of us, we got. We're taking the whole thing. Yeah, like you guys could all okay, physically so take them. How how much gold did you say it was? Twenty thousand gold thousand. bars. Yeah. Okay, maybe. so okay. Um, you do also right, found maybe. find a few bags, uh, maybe about five thousand gold and just bags of coins. This is kind of like the repository where the city keeps all of its gold. I mean, like keeps its like trading wealth. If that makes sense. Honestly, I can't actually take any of the gold coins. And the gold you can't carry any of it right now. And even if you could, even then, you could maybe carry like one or two gold bars at most. Honestly, in normal form. we can make this like a base. I have the freaking key. Who's going to break in here? No. That's fair. Yeah. It's a we really well built, like built if by the dwarves. And I can open I, safety deposit. I boxes. would like to roll like an investigation you check. You can't, they're magically see locked. If I can find, you need the key to open them. Mm. I'd like to do an investigation check to see if I can find the key or however we lock that gate. What gate? The, uh, um, 
the key, your key will work on the gate as well. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That's the master key for the tax office, but the the, only, the master key doesn't work on the safety deposit boxes. So there's no key. master key to any of that? No, those are individual keys for patrons. That way they did, they felt secure. They didn't have to worry about anybody being having access to their stuff. So and they they were made by the Majors Academy. If we divide that by four. It could just be money that you guys have as a party money too. That's a lot of money. Five thousand, yeah, five thousand. So that's twenty-five thousand as like. You can do quick math, but you can't do twenty thousand divided by four. Each gold, each gold, each gold bar is worth about two (laughs) hundred gold pieces. You just made. Sure, move. Each gold bar is worth about two hundred gold pieces. Quick math, two hundred fifty gold pieces. Two hundred thousand divided by four. Perfect. Be nice. It's five. It's five. It's five. Sixty-two fifty. It's five thousand. Well, if you're talking about the money, the cash money, you guys can split that money. No. What I'm saying, the gold bars can stay here, but you can. They don't know about that money. They don't know about this. Well, they don't know anything about it yet because they're still outside. But I'm saying, like, if you wanted to. Y'all know shit. Jack shit. Um. Okay, so I'm picking up the delirium pieces with my rubber gloves, and I'm Mm -hmm. tossing it in the bucket. Um, He has a kit. Mm Hmm. How and you also it? have the uh, artisan kit too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bought the kit to pick up delirium. And shit. No, don't you have the artist, the masonry tools? Uh, like the pickaxe. Uh, yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. Um, How many bags are there of gold? One gold with five thousand gold pieces. Okay. Well, like multiple bags, but totaling five thousand gold pieces. Okay, so. Um, you find a. Delirium shard about this big, but you also find help. about a, a uh, 150 if pounds of meteor. Like, you find like a five pound like, shard of delirium, like the like, like delirium crystal, with also something. like like smaller, maybe like 40 a, smaller delirium pieces. Are you telling okay, him so about? I'm saying down. you guys linked up. Are you telling him about the delirium that you found? Yeah, he he took it. Yeah. Okay, did you? Mm-hmm. Add another ten One small shard. Add another fifteen Here's small shards. So fifty-five small shards. And we get one fifty. And then if we both take the meter, right? Um, I can take like fifty pounds. Sorry, saying there's four bags. Right, equal. That equals no, it out so between the two. The, the loose gold. Yeah. So I just have a hundred. You have a hundred. Yeah. Total equals five. And then that way we can get twenty-five hundred javelin. Huh? It's easy math. I get up there. Meteor. Meteor. Oh, twenty-five hundred. Uh, between the two of you. Morning Wait. star. If oh, yeah. you split it just between the two of you, if it's five thousand divided by two, it's twenty five hundred. We know that. Yes, that's not what we're discussing. No, we're kind of having an argument about whether or not we should tell them. I mean, yeah. you're gonna have to tell them probably about the big deposit, but not the little one. Yeah, that's what we're arguing about. The... Okay, fine. We can we can tell them about the big deposit if that makes you happy. But my thing is. We need to tell them. This this is a really good lockdown scenario. Oh, yeah, no, no. The other one we can do, like, 5000 each on for the gold bars. I was saying keep that as, like, the party money. So, like, maybe we can get, like, a house, have that as a base of operations, stuff like that. I mean, you have your tree, I guess. Yeah, I got my tree ready. Oh, no, 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 can I get in there? Mind. I was like, I can't, I can't be metagaming. I was going to say something. Well, I'm going to eventually ask about a good spot in the area that I have already scouted to plant a tree, if okay. there is a good spot. You could plant it upstairs in the receptionist area. This is a two-story building. So, like, there is an area above What Wouldn't where... the roots okay. destroy so, the first layer? It's, it's, it's the, she okay. couldn't plant it downstairs because of the, the metal, the but bars. she could put it upstairs yeah. because it just... Agreed. Wood That's too much. and stone, so what and it's a divine tree, so it, it could grow, grow physically grow through, but not downstairs in the metal. Like it could, right. it's not earth. Um. Okay. No. So what? without, what's up? What's up? Up That'd be meta gaming at it that point. Is, um, yeah. I mean, Jordan owes you five hundred. From what? Oh yeah. <laughs> Different game. <Yay. laughs> I don't know, Jordan. She never got her fucking return investment back, dude. Yeah. It's a great game. I don't know. Hey, hey, Charity. Just take it out. If you guys, whatever you do, decide to divvy up. <laughs> take two gold yeah. bars from him. I'm making sure it's fair. That's what it would be. If 
we happen to eat. Okay, so while they're doing that, um, right. Is there anything else in the area that we can do? Um, not really. I mean, there's most of the buildings other than this area were are really dilapidated. Yes. You could give me an investigation okay. check around the outside we'll perimeter if you want to. An extra thousand for that. I got a eighteen. Okay, it's eighteen, an 18 uh, on the outside of like this little 20, 20 uh whatever radius. You do see um some. You do see a shop that seems to sell like. Um, like little like pocket watches and like grandfather clocks, but you also see like you also see like some homes that pretty caved in, but you might be able to squeeze in there and maybe find something, but probably not too much worth because it looks like it doesn't look like the people that lived in them were too wealthy or too well off. You also um okay, so I mean, there... really, it just looks like what you would expect to find in a city that has been hit by meteorites. I mean, nothing crazy, but I mean, it's a shop with like. So. When you get done, I'm not okay. gonna like rush you. But... Nothing like you mean. It's just you mean you find small shops that sell this and that. You might find a general store that gets mm-hmm. kind of partially caved in, but you could go in there and maybe I'm find something. Just get that general yeah, store. Okay. Pretty sure in two separate Oh, uh, that's a natural 20. Okay. Two. Inside the general store, you do find uh, a crate of potions. Um, a few vials are busted, but you do manage to salvage two intact uh, health potions. Uh, of, of normal minor health potions, you also find one greater potion of healing. Do you think that those uh, um, are You find a potion of invisibility. You also I find two the antidote key, potions. Hang on. The house for the people one here. greater health, one invisibility. Two minor health. We can health. look. We can look. I already got those. Um, two. Two antidote. Because two. Torpedo poison to paralyze patients mm-hmm. and stuff. Um, you also Sometimes find um some rope. You find some sets of torches. You do find a tent. If you wanted to take it, you could. Um, you find a couple of bundles of hay, but I mean, with the with the yeah, you really. I mean, you find a a back. You find like a couple of backpacks. I mean, anything in them. Um, or they were just, just they were just yeah. what a store would be selling. So. How much is each gold bar worth? Two hundred. Two hundred fifty gold pieces. Oh. And there were okay. two thousand. 20,000? 20, so whatever that is divided, I don't know. Um, you find, um... It's like find, 80 gold bars, something yeah. like that. You find a, um, artisan kit. Ten, you find a... Two sets no, of thieves, set, were, thieves tools. You find, like um, yeah, some better. daggers. Right. Uh, two daggers. You find... Couple of pickaxes. I mean, it's really just the kind of place you would go if you wanted to stock up for an adventure. I mean, you find some food. You find. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's what you would expect to find okay. at a general store. But nothing like special or anything. No. I mean, mm-hmm. um, if you want to, with a natural twenty, you do find um thirty gold pieces. Mm-hmm. Um. There's also a lock box, a uh, strong box, if you wanted to give it a shot with some of these thieves, the thieves, the thieves tools that you found, if you wanted to. Do I need to roll? Yeah, you're not super. You're probably not going to be super proficient in thieves tools, to be honest, because you're a, 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 a barbarian. But whatever that is, it's dexterity. So, should be dexterity. Sleight of hand. Five. Five? Yeah, that's not enough. Alright, so I'm just gonna take it with me. Uh the strong box, yeah, mm-hmm. it's fifty pounds. It's made of solid iron, so fifty pounds. And then I'll see if any of them can get it open. Uh did you pick up the meteor too? Meteor? The meteor right that you found? Where the delirium is at? Yeah. And it's hundred and seventy pounds, so we split it. Okay. Wait, hundred and seventy, I thought it was just hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty. Well you found some too, remember? Yeah, yeah. and then we split, we split it. Split it. Like I got fifty and then that was fifty pounds for that yeah. one. Yeah, I then... got fifty and then the hundred fifty. I took fifty of the hundred fifty and then he. Oh, so it's a hundred and a hundred. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so you're probably running up on close to your limit. Yeah, like you're you're kind of encumbered, and so are you. Like, 
I'm you're not that. as cumbered, but you're because you're right, a lot bigger. So I need we need to go find them. Um, okay. Do we know where they are? Um, you checked every other building in this plaza, so assume uh, with your powers of deduction, I would say that you would think they were probably in the tax building, but you don't know. So I'm gonna start walking to the tax building. Okay, so I am gonna lock up the safe. We have two separate bags of gold. We're gonna give them. Okay. I'm gonna lock up the safe and head back up toward the reception area. Okay. I want to check like the desk. Investigation, yeah. Yeah, I want to check the desk and see if like we can find. Sometimes they'll have spare keys. Okay. I want to see if I can find any like extra keys. Okay. Give me an investigation check. My investigation. I mean, I got a seventeen, but investigation is a plus one eighteen. Okay, with an eighteen, you do find a set of. Uh, you do find two keys, but they don't have any numbers on them. I uh, they are for the empty lock boxes. They are for they w are they're they're for lock boxes for safety deposit boxes, but they've not been assigned to anybody, so they're probably most likely not. They're most likely empty. But those lock boxes could come in handy. Yes. So I'm okay. keeping the keys. So um. I would like one of the two I'm later. walking into the tax office, and I'm assuming that it's I not been thirty two. minutes, by the way. So you you have another thirty minutes before your shift. So I'm assuming that I see you two. Yeah. All right. So I look at you, and I'm like, "Hey, can you carry a lot of delirium?" Uh, you can carry a lot of small pieces, but you can't really carry anything massive. You have a small pouch. Yeah, my pouch is small. It's I kind of like a little pocket dimension. I can carry whatever I can fit in my pouch. Whatever fits to the entrance of her pouch, she can carry. Can it. that it's big in. shard? No. But right. you have a thing. You have a, a, a bucket. bucket. A bucket. Yeah, I just need that. to get rid of some yeah, of Yeah, he's trying to get some of it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so I hand her the 55 small shards. Yeah. We're, you know, oh, wait, you know by experience. They didn't know nope. this so much. I'm a Worth Oh, when 30 you're, more minutes. Worth a hundred. I'll give you this pearl. hundred. Oh, a hundred. Hey. She can actually take the pearl now, but then it would, one of her claws would be, have to be holding it. But, um. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Give me the fucking okay. pearl. Um. Give me the pearl. pearl. 55 gold pieces. I mean, a hundred gold pieces per shard. For 55 okay. shards. You know that they're worth about a hundred pieces. Okay. And yeah. then I ask, like, hey, you know, I know that you've been selling these to... River. Oh, River. we got some money for you. Fucking out of town. Um, how much would this be worth? Um, yeah, because she knows what it's How's it going? Welcome uh, to the stream, by the way. So, uh, each of these, River normally would give me, like, a candied salmon and some gold for it. How much? About a hundred. And I show you the big shard. How much do you think this is worth? You've never found a shard this big before. That's going to be a lot of salmon. Gold. You have no I idea. I don't know, but that's a lot of salmon. <laughs> I'm not worried about fucking salmon. <laughs> you want to talk about some salmon money? I got something to show you. By the way, I hand you a pouch that has a thousand. Yep. A thousand gold, and I hand you a pouch that has a thousand gold. Oh, by the way, they did find it. They can take the extra a little bit. You guys each get five thousand gold bars. Eventually. I want that to be for the party. Like, if one of us, like, like if you guys want to buy something big, like if you guys wanted to buy yeah. a house or something. All right. Well, there's or two thousand like, gold bars in the back. Like, let's oh, say you, you're a bird. Them. Okay, calm she down. She can still speak. She's a bird. Uh, You're a bird. <laughs> bird gang. <laughs> um, I show you the key. I'm like, this is basically a master key. It's down in the basement. Is a vault with a shit ton of gold. Like we 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 are good. Twenty thousand. Because um, I um, have. Can I put some ingots in there to get rid of some of this weight? I'm yeah, curious. sure. I lead you down to the basement and I open up the door. All right, we need to create like a master list of what's in this vault. Give me a, mm. give me a. Oh, uh, I'm already doing that. I want to see give, anything. Like give me a D twenty. Anything over a ten, and you're gonna be stun locked. So, well, I'm gonna put it right here. I mean, anything under a ten, and you're gonna be stun locked. Not one. 
Natural one. You legitimately, uh, this is the most money you've ever seen in your entire life. Revolt. So, Bobby like, Blue Bars? You're like, no. Like, legitimately, 20, like, just dead uh, face for like at least five minutes. 20,000? 20, equals five mil. Equals five mil. Okay, what? Five mil? Okay. That's what she said. I have money wise? Yeah. What? Huh? Each bar is worth 250 pieces. You no, but there's only 20,000. That's if there's 20,000 gold worth of, of yeah. gold bars. So 20,000 divided by 250. I thought that you said no, that. No, no. 20,000 gold bars 20, worth. 20,000 gold bars worth is money. Yeah. Okay. So 20,000 divided by 250. I thought you said that there was no. Gold okay. bars. So. <laughs> no. That's a lot. So, I... I wouldn't give you any more money for the rest right. of the game. <laughs> um, so, there's 20,000 gold total. Right, divided by 250. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 80 bars? 80 yeah. bars. That's yeah, still a lot, earlier. though. And um, they're like 10 pounds each. So, uh, three Let's iron ingots. Pounds, yeah. well, how many iron ingots? Three. Uh, four copper ingots and one silver ingot. You said four copper? Yeah, and one silver. You could also store the delirium down here if you I wanted have some to, stuff but I'm throw in here. Okay, what you doing? Um, I'm gonna put two candelabras. Two what? Two candelabras. Candle. Why the fuck did you grab It's a candlestick. They're silver candlestick. Okay. They're pure probably. silver. They're a lot. That's probably like five. Like they're probably like silver. Two. two. Pay attention. And then two silver goblets. Well, I thought you guys are just creating a horde now. Mm -hmm. And then I am doing. Like, we don't even need. Wait, how many what? Two, two silver, silver goblets. goblets. Don't ever lose your key or you're fucked. <laughs> oh, I'm probably gonna put it in the tree. And what then, we um, could do is um, figure out a way to make copies. I doubt that's going to be possible with this type of bank. Yeah, they're, mag they're magically. They were made by the Majors Academy. Yeah. I'd have to talk to River. They were designed, these vaults were designed to protect against the spell knock, which unlocks flawed, uh, will unlock doors. Is that it, person? Yep. Okay. So they're magically sealed and only the key... Oh, also, them. I take out this strong box, and um, I ask, hey, is anybody proficient with um, picking a lock? I cannot <laughs> get this open. Yes! So I hand it to you. Um, okay, so I gotta do some rolls. Actually, this is gonna be a lead line lock box as well. Never mind, I said iron, but I'm gonna say lead line. If you guys wanted to store delirium in it, you could. Okay, so I have my thieves' tools. They also did find, like, well, actually, never mind. What would I have to roll to open this Uh, box? 15 or higher. 15 or higher? Am I rolling a d20? D20, yeah. Were the, uh, goblets pure silver, too? Uh, yes. Fuck. I got a 10. I can attempt. Wait, what for... You can keep trying. What's oh. your, what's your... But it's, it's a d20. Good. Hold on, hold on. 18. Many, okay, how many thieves tools did you have? You didn't tell me how many. Okay, well, I was just saying you could keep trying, but then you just started going. I was gonna try to finish. Well, you could go as many times as you have thieves tools. You didn't tell me that I had. Okay, they break after failure. Okay, well, how many did oh. you give me to start with? Because I haven't used well, I know, any. Like two or three, but they did just find some if they want to tell you. It's yeah, I have some, so I can attempt to. I just uh, got eighteen. She has the best. Uh. Or I'm gonna say you had. Yeah. That's fine. You opened it, but you used all your thieves' tools to do so. Okay, fine. And I still have two sets. Yeah. You find inside. You find uh, a silver ring. Uh. Are we gonna put all this in the vault, depending on what it is? Um. So I'll take the small. Well, um, I don't. Okay, let's I can't. Just, I let's... can't take any more weight. So. Five hundred gold pieces. Oh. A yeah, silver that's... ring. That. Seems to have some, it seems magical in nature, but you're not sure what it does. I want it. Um, you find another pearl. I want the pearl. 
Oh my gosh. Can you let him finish? No. Um, and then you also find um uh, a couple hundred silver pieces, like two hundred silver pieces and like seventy five copper. But that's about it. Okay, so do you I find a journal? A journal? A journal, yes. Uh what language is it written in? Common. You all speak common. Gonna, You're all yeah. speaking common right now. What does it say? We'll read uh, that okay. in a second. That's a because she's about to de transform. Well, in like what, forty minutes? No, no. Minutes. You already had you only had twenty. It's like fifteen minutes. You I mean you could yeah. just end the wild shape now because it's by the time you get done with this it'll be done. Yeah, I'll just end the wild shape. Uh, I'm gonna put my pearl back in my bag that he gave me. I would like this other pearl. Okay, how That's many pearls you do you have? That's like five or six. Does yeah. it matter? Yeah. It yeah. might. It might be able to make something. Who knows? These are the little black pearls, right? These are the ones that Aldor, Aldor on our current campaign, Aldor one. Okay. But you don't know that, obviously. No, I don't know that. None of you guys know what they are. You just know that they're pretty. We also know that there's like, what, 13 of them? There's 12, and Aldor wants them, but you don't know why he wants them. Yeah. Okay, so... Split up the gold and the copper and the silver. I mean, unless we want to. Let's do this. Put the silver ring into the pearl. I won't touch any of the money. The gold keep in the vault. Okay, we'll keep the gold in the vault. Okay, so. Also, do you guys want to put any of your gold in the vault or no? You do have a lot between all of you. Yeah, we have a lot. Um, I'm gonna put three thousand gold in the vault. Okay. So make sure you separate it and you know what's yours and how much you have. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put my initial. In. Just put like a bank. Just put bank beside the gold that you want to put away, and then just. I will. I will let anybody who's putting there. I will let anybody who if you're tracking, if you're putting money in there, it's your job to track that money. Yeah. Yeah. That vault. So just okay, beside so... the beside how much you have in there, just put bank, bank whatever, bank three thousand, bank two thousand, whatever you guys want to bank. I need to erase your thingy. Okay, hang on. You um, also, am I able to convert my silver to gold? Um, yeah. How much silver do you have? Uh, five hundred sixteen. Yeah, every hundred, uh, every ten silver pieces is one gold piece. So, fifty-one gold. Uh, that sounds right to me. And then Why I have. Twenty thousand. Oh, that was the. Um, you guys also, this is in the middle of the city, so you also could use this as a stash for potions, whatever you guys wanted to do, you guys could I use I know, it. this is, that's what I was saying, this what? is our, like, base, I have yeah. a key, this is here. Um, yeah. so, strong box is, do we want to keep the strong box? Yeah. Yeah. If it, it's if it can night. hold, if it can hold delirium, we need to take it. Alright, so, do we want to I'd leave this that on me? Or I would we... just leave it in the vault. Alright, yeah. so that's going in the vault. Am I putting the it big card in? Um, um, don't put the strong box on there. I think it's separate it, thing. It is so it is so large that even this little container is having heart to trouble trouble see, keeping the 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 haze. Like it starts to have like the, the delirium seep. Like the haze starts to seep out of the container. So you don't really want to carry it for prolonged periods of time because you will have to suffer levels of exhaustion every okay. hour that you carry it. You don't know that, but I'm just telling you. Like you do feel off. So I'm gonna put the shard in the strong box. Okay. Um, Does that then contaminate the money? Uh, I would move the money, everything else out of it besides the delirium. Yeah, I will. Because if you touch it, if you touch anything in the thing in there, mixed in with the delirium, we've already, it will. We've already, I'm taking the journal because I'm interested in reading the journal. Well, I'm the sage. So I might like. Fine, I'll give you the journal. I mean, you guys can both read the journal. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Whatever you, you're still going to have to roll to see if you find anything. Can I have the other pearl? We should split the pearls up so that they're not all on one person, just in case. Or keep them in the vault. Yeah. We can divvy the vault up into four sections, and we each have our own section. Well, yeah, just 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 that minus the eighty pieces, probably the eighty bars, or whatever. And then we have a section. We can divide it up into five sections because then one section is going to be a communal. Uh, you found four lockbox pieces. We're going to say four lockbox pieces that gives each one your own little safety deposit box if you guys want to keep. 
Okay. That way you don't have to worry about it. You just know you have a key yeah. that. Right. Uh. So each of you could have a key to your own little safety closet um, box if you wanted so to. So I then bring up, hey, you know, we've been here a while. Um, which direction is the deed that that one person way back when was asking about? Um, you still have a distance, by the way. You know that you're just now in the inner city and it's probably another maybe 30 minutes into the city walking. And what time is it? It is, I mean, it's pushing the evening. I mean, you guys well, yeah, probably like aren't even going to be able to make it out of the city hours. because the haze hours gets hours. really bad at nighttime. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Like, it's starting we, to seep into the building. We might um, have to go back into town. Wait. Uh, there is a spot upstairs that I can clean. Outside of the receptionist, past the cage, if you wanted to, you could, and it would protect the entire building. Yeah. Would that get rid of the haze from the delirium? Um, it would keep it from seeping out of... It doesn't seep out of this lead container because this box is really well built, but that little thing was meant to be carried. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it will keep... Yeah, it will keep It will keep this area clean, and then any monster that tries to enter will suffer radiant damage. So it basically will create a safe space for you guys here, protecting it from anything. It kills monsters from coming in? Uh, yeah, the goddess will... Call the radio yeah. to take them to take radiant damage. They'll probably die before they even get through, especially if the gate's locked on a regular basis. So I'm gonna go clean a tree. Okay. Um. Um. I do say that I do need to get back to Riverwood because I got Riverwood. Me. You going? You going to Skyrim right now? Are you on your way to Skyrimwood? Skyrim. Riverwood. Emberwood. Uh, yeah. Riverwood is the village. The first village of Skyrim. Emberwood. Um. Tomato <laughs> Um, because I have a lot of weapons that I need to sell. I'm going to take a travel with a white man. Well, we can head back, but I'm just saying, like... It's going to be make more sense to just stay here for right now. Yeah. Because you guys are still, like, you guys are, like, probably two and a half hours away from any, from town, and it's nighttime. It's like, yeah. It's going like to be five, more dangerous. What? Did you just break it? Oh. So are you playing a dream? No, because I only attach to like one or two boots. So I would break that. Yes, I would like to plant a tree. Okay, up top. Yeah. Um, you plant the tree and immediately uh, it sprouts uh, uh, out of the ground. I mean, through the, the roots grow into the wood and down into the soil. And it pretty much destroys that area where the tree is forming. And uh, it actually pops out into the, the branches pop out into the second floor of the build like because like, it's just like, like a balcony above and it just spreads out there's also a staircase to your guys' right that goes up into that like little like loft area oh i probably should investigate that first but um yeah it did basically just sprouts out and it it seems to fit perfectly in this room somehow and um um your uh terra mater says uh she says Oh, so you've planted another one. Yes, Terra Mater. Um, she's like, oh, I've been meaning to give you a gift uh, that I've been working on, and you get your five barrier arrows. Five? Five. Six. Six. Six, Six. Barrier, barrier Thank you. arrows. Um... She's like, these arrows will, arrows will allow you to create uh, a barrier that can trap or also defend you against any enemy. And you know how they work, so it's fine. Yes. Um, I need to create cards for them all, and I also still need to yes. ink, but yeah. I have a dime that I'll bring. So I would like to give Marlena two, or the cat two. Selena. Two arrows? Yes. Okay. To help you complete. She'll have to tell you how to explain it to your Yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't know how these arrows work. Basically, do not use them unless I tell you to. Got it. So, um, I'm going to mark, and do not destroy them. I'm going to put goddess arrows. Okay. Do not destroy them. Okay. Um, so, 
Okay, so I've told you that we basically, it's safer to stay here for the night um, because traveling would be more dangerous. Since she planted the tree, it's safer to stay also, here. Also, the, the front door go, locks, too. I'm going to go lock the gate. In the door, the front door. The front door locks with the same key, and it also has basically metal bars around the window frames all the way across because it's like it's a safe it's a legitimately a safe area like a bank so it's got metal bars around like the window seals and there's also steel beams how's the tax office more secure than the freaking bank then the armory the bank. 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 yes no, it, it, it's, it's, it's not bank. it's not like it's not like a bank it's a city owned not a public like public owned so it's a city it's technically a bank but it's more for like city like tax collections and like it's like a, a way station before they transport all of the like not the bars like that's basically like for trade but like all of the gold gets transported to the city to the, the castle i get it um also i locked the gate i locked the front door and i know that the basement is locked okay i want to roll an investigation on this ring uh no you need to uh, you need to cast identify the ring you need to use an identify spell. You don't have that. Fine. That's so fine. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just saying, like this, it's it's an un unidentified. Yeah. I want the ring and pearl. Okay. That's all that's, I want. That's between you guys. All right. And I you have the journal. Oh, cool. Me and okay. you can. I'll take the journal, but me and you can read it together. There are a couple of comfy seats up top, but there is no beds or anything. There's some tables and some chairs, and there's a couple of like some like cushion seats. With some like uh, uh, animal hides thrown Do over top, some fur. Uh, split up the gold then. I the thought gold. we were leaving that in the vault. The, okay, yeah, but the, the gold, gold we're thing. leaving. The gold we're leaving in the vault. Okay. What's up? So, in um, the one um in the house upstairs <laughs> where the sweets were, there was a bed. That we could possibly take. There's beds in all of them. You guys get could, some beds. You guys could go and chairs. set this place up if you guys Rats. wanted to in the morning. So split up the two. There's some pretty nice furniture in that yeah. up in that building you were at. So. Everybody gets like twelve copper. No. So twenty two. A hundred copper is one gold no, piece. One silver so piece. So add twenty five copper. No, ten copper is one silver. A hundred copper is one gold. Add twenty five copper. Everybody. Yes. Um. And then add sixty six silver. I'm taking the extra two. So Terra Mater creates a, spa a, a, a safe space around the building and also 15 feet in every direction of the building. Silver or gold? Silver. Okay, so what are we doing for the night? Sleeping. Long rest? Yeah, long rest if you guys want to. It's yeah. a safe space. Let's see. All right. She's only got three more, two more uh, uh, acorns left, though. So. Now, are these and trees the all magically linked? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could you could be out in one tree and speak. If you so put your hand, if she, if Terra Mater allowed you to, you could speak to each other through the Oh, tree. that's not what yeah. I meant, but okay. What Teleportation. You mean, like, no, you can't teleport. <laughs> fast travel. No, yeah, no, I'm trying Mater... to set up some fast travel points. Yeah, here. no. Terra Mater does not do that. She only allows, like, waves, like, communication paths. She doesn't have the power like, that she used to have. She can't actually handle that's too much power for her to extend with as a tree like if you're in her former form she could transport you from one place to another place but her current form she can't we could probably reach out to her but I not mean, currently anyway you might yeah. eventually be able to do the do that with the trees you don't know but yeah. currently she doesn't have the power to do that why does she not have the power to do it it's because she's in a weakened state in the middle of a, a city filled with miasma right sure Get it together. <laughs> okay, so we're all going a long rest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I need, but it isn't going to be a super comfortable long rest because there is nowhere to actually. There's no comfy way to sleep. So I'm I am gonna say. I sit. So I was talking about. I'm going to say I'm that. Down to that branch. 
Okay, I'm going to say that um, you have a comfortable place to sleep because she created a small little yeah. spice for you with a little bridge that even goes to the upper balcony, like a little like. I know, I'm special. She created because you're her creation. You're like yeah. a child, so she created a little like. I am her daughter. Yeah. Okay. Get you it right. Finish. No. So you have a comfortable place to sleep, but they have to t suffer a little bit, a little bit more. So you do get a long rest, but I'm gonna say that. Um, you already full health though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it doesn't really affect you. Does it affect you? I'm full health. Full health. It doesn't affect her either. Um, you're full health too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it, normally it would have affected you, but it's fine. What was it gonna be? Just like whatever half, whatever you would have gotten back. Oh. But you guys are good, yeah. I mean, you wake up and you feel groggy, you feel tired still. You don't feel like you, in your back kind of hurts no, a little no, bit no, from sleeping no, no. on hard wood. But, uh, like, he also said that you guys could go and pill for some beds and some some blankets and some fine clothing from our surrounding areas, so. Okay. Um, so let's do that real quick so we can get back to uh, Smithy. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to take about 45 minutes to... 45 minutes just to get the bed down the stairs and then another maybe like I don't know maybe another 15 20 minutes to get it up into the loft area we are only about half an hour away from where I think that this deed is but I also I'm getting it's safe I can lock shit in for a second you just gotta keep track of what you yourself put in that safe no did you perfect. give them did you give me the keys up yes we each have a safety deposit box as well. Yeah, you each have your own safety deposit box that can hold up to about, uh, I want to say, five feet. Not like, it's not five feet like a square, but like, like it can hold, like each safety deposit, not five feet, each safety deposit box is about that big and about five feet. I don't know what that is. But like, so maybe, like a like, normal safety deposit box yeah. that we would see? Yeah, yeah I can't really whatever that is. In there. I don't know. Whatever the space is. So it's kind of a decent book. Yeah, like you can put like gold or yeah, like a journal or whatever you want. Little gems. Okay, so let's after we get all the beds okay. done. Um, we're it takes gonna, me about two and a half hours to get everything set up. We're gonna go find that deed. All right, I need um, I need d uh, d sixes from everybody after your because your guys are out getting the beds and moving everything into the area. That's what they wanted to do. I got oh. two. I'm too. Blind. Shit. I got three. Okay, well, for you, from you, three. I got two. A two? What'd you get? I got three. What'd you get? Two. Okay. Three. Terrible. Three. Um, I'm in my tree. I'm in my tree. She's not. Yeah, she's still. Three. She can't help. She's too small. I'm two foot. She couldn't lift it. Oh, I thought we were going to get the deed. No. Yeah, but you're already right here setting it all up. Might as well, too. So it's like, you. it's what you said you wanted to do. You get it all done. Mm -hmm. So... With those numbers, um, as you exit the area of protection of Terra Mater, you guys are ambushed by um, some, uh, like, four or five gnolls that hadn't seen their buddies in a while. Oh, fuck um, and that seen an area that burned them every time they got close to it. So they waited on the outside of the area to see what was happening, and you guys are ambushed by uh, three gnolls. I need you guys to roll initiative. Are you, you are surprised. I have no clue what's going on. She's inside, yeah. Unless you tell me. Hey, get out here. There's five no. I always climb up to the ten. roof. Uh, there's actually, if you, you can actually open a window, like a, there's like a window up there. You can actually fire down if you want to, outside from the protection of Terra Mater if you wanted to. Inside protection? Yeah. All right, let's do that. We'll open a window. Okay. It's like one of those round windows that opens kind of like the glass tilts this way. You know what I'm talking about? Like where you like yeah. push it and it like goes on that swivel. So, uh, do I have to roll for stealth or anything? Um, I'm going to let them roll initiative first. Uh, but, and you, but you're not going to be in the part of the surprise round, but they are going to be surprised. You guys are not going to be attacked, you no matter what your initiative is. Did you roll, what did you roll, babe? 21. 21, what'd you roll? 21. What'd you roll? 11. 11. Okay. <laughs> That was a crap roll. He should have rolled 21. 21, 21. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to be, you two are going to both be, wait, actually, all of you are going to be up before them. So, 
But they have to prize round, so they get to go more. first. Man, Pledge you, uh. Yes, he got, got it. He got you it. Can't oh, give me a, too, uh, Charity, give me a stealth check as you open the window to see if they notice you. 14. 14. I'm going to roll an opposed perception. With... Natural 20. He, know, he sees you. They see you. Yeah, um, they, yeah, but they can still fire arrows in her direction. She, they just can't enter the area. Right. Initiative. Terror okay. Roll would initiative. Not let her get her, though. She's not strong. 15. She's already having a barrier, keeping a barrier up. That's the best she can do. Yeah, 15. Okay. Besides, Terra Mater can't uh, really like fight. Negate, like, not like. She can stop magic. She might be able to do some stop magical stuff. But magic, she but she can't prevent like physical objects. Yeah. All right. So uh, it is. Um, you're not surprised, but the null. So you get to go first, because the nulls. Uh, you beat the nulls, so you get to attack first. But they are going to attack before the rest of them, even though they're in the higher initiative order. Yeah, so hang on. So it's. Uh, it's Jordan, Marlena, you, Carson, then three nulls. Oh, they rolled lower than 11. Yeah, yeah but they get, to, they get surprised. Uh, they get to, they, they're surprised yeah. because they didn't know they were coming. So, so they get to attack. How many nulls are there? Five. There's, no, there's three. Oh. I might have said four, but yeah, you said four or five. Yeah, yeah, but there's three. I'm fine. There's three. Uh, I got twelve. That's not in my head. All right. Uh, yeah, no, it's not. It's uh, they have an AC fifteen. Thank you. Um, I mean, it's always been that though. You guys have fought enough nulls to probably know. I didn't remember. Sixteen. Fifteen. Hmm. Being in 16, hey, yeah. All right, um, so it's Noel's turn, and they are gonna go for. Wait, um, where are they at? Um, I'm gonna say this is the tax office. Okay, yeah. Um, the front entrance is, yeah, yeah, that's the front entrance. Sure. Um, so 15 feet in front of the office is protected. Uh, hang on, uh. Not 15 feet behind, only 5 feet behind the office is protected. Because the tree is planted in the front of the building. Where's the tree at? Right there in the front area. Right there, like, yeah, that square. So that's 4, and that's where, yeah. That's about where the tree is. And we can actually, um, never mind, I was going to say we can leave that there, but it, because that's actually a good little solution. Let's see. Where's two on the sides? Okay, right. so that's your protected area, and then on the right on the outside, I want to say that Marlena, uh, Carson, and, and Jordan's characters so are right, right here. Yeah, right around on the outside, and then Noel's so, right in front of them. S V C. Okay, Noel's first, and then the Noel, right. or maybe like five, C or K. Hey, fifteen you. feet in front. Just space them out a little bit. Fifteen for the feet in front. Yeah, fifteen feet in front. So. And they're all just going to attack. Uh, two are going to attack Marlena, and one is going to attack Carson. Damn. Um, 15. Two 18s? Yeah. Okay. And then Carson. Oh, yeah, they have short breath. Yeah, so oh, I'm going to reset. Um, I'm gonna have a long yeah, I'm going to reset my spells. Yep. Ten points of damage. To me or Carson? To you. He didn't take any. Yeah. Yeah, they missed. Yeah, they missed. Oh, it. I know what I missed. Okay. All right. So it's my it turn. It is yes, it is Jordan's turn. All right. And are they still fifteen feet in front of us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, about fifteen feet in front. Of us. All right. They so didn't move. They just fired arrows. Move me in front of the middle one. I'm using my twin swords. Seven to eight. That's fifteen. It's a mess. Yeah. All right, uh, it is Marlena's turn. Okay, I am going to 
I am going to... We are going to be able to make it to the D today, babe. I figured. Because it's legitimately pushing. It's nine. They're almost nine thirty. I know. The third session. I've been trying to get this freaking okay. deed. Okay. Um. I'm gonna. Which one was hit? None of them. I'm gonna go after that one. Oh yeah. I I did not hit. All right. It is uh Gaia's turn again. About right here, right? Yeah, you're up in the top, so you have enough. Can you hit them? Yeah, I don't even know why I counted. Okay. Alrighty, yeah, and you're in the protection. I mean, they, I mean, they could fire at you, but they have three enemies in front of them, so you probably don't gotta worry about that. Hitting this one, eighteen. Okay, give me any damage. Uh, this is one twenty-eight. You had advantage as well because you were above, but it's fine. You're above them, so you're you have advantage because you're at a higher. Angle. Me, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking about it. You had an altitude altitude difference, so that's a damage because you're firing down. So any cover or anything that was in the way would not be in the way. I'm sorry, did your reference? It's late. Roll. See the uh, free damage piercing and entanglement. He has to roll for entanglement. Okay, what was the save? Um. It was like 12, I thought. Let me go back a little bit. It was whatever your dex, I thought it was your dex there, your strength? No. No, it's different, so. Because the thing wouldn't know. I mean, I guess you would just use it in Tangle, whatever the yes. Tangle spell was. Finish spells. Alright, we're going to remove Guidance and replace it with Entanglement for the moment. Where's Entanglement? I already had it paired. What the frick? Alright, guidance relearn. Alright. Uh it's a save of strength twelve. Okay. I thought that's what it was. Oh, uh, he fails miserably. All He's right, now entangled. So, tangled and is that the first or what order is he in? Uh, he is last in the order. Right, so... But they all go right after each other, so it's not a big deal. Uh, it is Carson's turn, though. Yeah. Alright, um, I'm gonna move up... No, this one. Well, he's entangled, so... He yeah, you're gonna get advantage on oh, the yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm gonna hit him with my morning spell. Yeah. In that corner. Bye. All right, give me, um, what's the, uh, is it D8 or D10? It's, um, 2D10 plus 7 plus 2D8. Is it 2D10 normally? Yeah. It's 4D10 now. I need somebody's, you guys. 4D10? Yeah, I just need two more D10s. I got it. Yeah. I'll say I can just give them some D10s. Thank you. No, he gets a pretty die. I'm saying I can just give him some so he has them for later. Oh. I thought about just giving him, I'm thinking about just giving him another couple of sets of dice. It's that way when he rolls. That was a D8. Yeah, I know. It's two D10 plus seven plus two D8. But four D10. Yeah. Don't plus all the other stuff. Just for the main dice. Alright. What happens when you roll a zero on the... That's ten. Oh, okay. Ten. Okay. I thought zero was... Zero was ten. No, because on the normal one... Zero is ten. Yeah, but there's a zero on it. Is it? Yeah, zero is ten. Oh, shit. He's dead. Okay. He's dead. What'd you roll? Dead. Six, eight, four, four, six, eight. And ten. Yeah. That's yeah. dead, yeah. Because it yeah. took, uh... It took... It's only at 19 health, so yeah, it's dead. Alrighty, uh, that's Carson's turn, and now it, that is the last null is dead. It's two nulls left. They are going to attack uh, Jordan. They're both going to converge on Jordan. That one's going to get behind Jordan. This one? Or this one? This one right here is going to walk behind him. Oh, no. And they're going to have advantage on you. Be yeah. This they're, one? Oh, what? The one over here. They're going to have advantage on you because you're flanked. 
Okay. And they miss still. They both go, they both miss. It is it's my turn. Yes. Alright. I roll a I roll a sixteen. That's yeah, that hits. Alright. Give me two, 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 two. Oh, these are your, your dice now, Carson? Oh, yeah. Two more sets of dice for when you roll I critical hits on that. I rolled an 18 on the one behind me. 18? 18 damage? Just maybe four left. Yeah. So, I'm just writing down for one of these. All right. Uh, it is... My turn? Mar 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 turn, yeah. Uh, that one in front of you, you'll have disadvantage on if you attack him, so. This one? Yeah. Because yeah. it's too close. Yeah, but if I attack that one, I'll make a person, right? No. Okay. That's Jordan, by the way. No, Jordan. No, you're at this on the side. If you were behind him, yeah, directly behind, you would miss. I mean, you would, yeah, you might hit him if you were. I didn't hit. I got a 13. Okay. Uh, it is... Okay. Yeah, 19, I'm hitting the one. You can roll again because you get an actual 20. Give it advantage. If you roll an actual 20, you, you know what I mean? You're already hitting, right, but so you might as well see if you can get a natural 20. 22. No. You never um, know. So, I'm going to hit either of these without this, without. Yeah, either one. Yeah, whatever one you want to hit. I'm going to hit the one right behind him. Okay. Um. That's the one you attack, right, Jordan? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, both do. Oh, wait. No, that, that dude's. Injured. I'm gonna hit the one in front of him. Never mind. Okay. Uh, what was it? D eight. That is eleven damage. Okay. And he also has to roll a strength save. Yep. I got you. And he gets a natural one. Nice. Alright, so he is in He tangle. is no longer he's not just entangled, he's also prone. He fell over. Alright. So you got a fucker that's prone and entangled in front of you. You get I'm gonna say that you get a, you get Mark, a dang. It is your turn. Run him up, dog him down. Just you can either kill this one or you can damage for some more, but he is Is that one low? Yes, this one has like four damn four health left. Um be critical. I'll try to take that one. Okay, that one has 11 health left. He's right. prone and entangled. I'm going to say that you get uh, you get advantage, and you also get, um, if you hit, you get... So, the reason why I probably hit this one instead is because this one, unless he somehow manages a strength save... Oh, yeah, he can't hit attack. He, he won't be able to do anything. All right, well, then, he yeah, can't. I'll hit that one. Oh, okay. Is Susan trying to get up on her food thing? Yeah, Thor's drinking water and she's pissed that he's drinking water when she's thirsty. <laughs> Alright. I hit him. Um. Four. Do you hit something higher than a four? Yeah. Then he's dead. I've been shitting my pants right now lately. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was you or Thor. That was me, man. I've been Freaking shitting my pants for the ants. He is needing a strength save again. <laughs> That's what always been cool. You gotta shake it out of my knee, dude. Hey, let's shake it out sometimes, man. Gotta okay, uh, um. Walk around. It is his turn, and he is hurting, and he needs to roll a strength save first. He gets it. And now he's gonna roll an attack on Jordan. He misses. He misses. Yes, All right, well, I'm gonna roll. That was a d12. <laughs> that was a d20 here. I knew something was wrong. Uh, 12 plus seven. That hits. So he has 11 yeah. health. Take him out. Both the ones are four and four. Yeah. Um, one, five, 
All right, congratulations. I'm going to say for the purposes of this, that you guys managed to get all of the beds into the thing. You guys won. You guys can collect your null ears, six null ears. Um, you guys get the beds, and you get some chairs, and whatever you can find. You guys find some chairs. You find three beds. I get two. Chair? Chairs. How are you going to... Null ears. Uh, oh, I was going to say, how are you like going to put a even... chair in your dang tree? No, you she doesn't need it. It's all kind of fully furnished by the goddess anyway. I know. Oh, yeah. So you guys... I find two single beds and you also find a double uh, you also find a queen size bed that's super nice super fancy no, with silk no ears. silk sheets and all that stuff if you guys whoever wants that I feel like you. I should be as big as he's the giant yeah he is massive um, um and then you two can have the other four no ears uh, two each okay you yeah. guys also find some you guys also can manage to get uh, a couple of side tables and all that nonsense you guys really spiffy it up a little bit and mm -hmm. next time, uh, next Friday, we will be heading for the deed. I All right. hope so. 30 minutes away. You're set up. I'm going to say the, the rest... shit's getting locked up. Don't worry about it. Getting this deed. Can you just kind of hold on to these until I'm going to hand these to you every game? Yeah. So I figured that's a pretty good start. I mean, you guys oh. really ended up with a lot of money. That was a good, good situation. Even if you... You are a very generous DM. I am. I'm only being generous this time. Next time, our next campaign... You guys are gonna be. Slim pickings. Slim, yeah. Next time it's gonna be it was just because we had new a lot of newbies. A lot of newbies. Yeah. AK Carson. And me. It's also oh, a yeah. city. It's also a city that's not been hardly picked over because it's legitimately one of the most dangerous places on the planet. Yeah. So it's like, it's a city that was super prosperous before the meteors hit. So you're gonna be finding a lot of stuff. But it's also been pretty picked over by scavengers and stuff too. But. Please don't leave. It's a big city. Yeah. The inner city is pretty well not picked over because hardly anybody comes in here. Well, you take the horse. Just letting you know, though, each one of these gold bars also has the, the, the royal insignia of Drakenheim on them. So, because it's city gold. So... Just when you think about when you go to use it, just think about who you use I'm it. I'm sure Al yeah, they Al might Al think Tipper. we stole it. He yeah. doesn't care, but like, yeah, I'm he, sure Al Gore would not care. He is not going to care, but like, if you try to take a, if you try to take it to the hooded lanterns who remnant of the city guard, they might be a little bit more like, where'd you get this? You know what I mean? We found it. Oh wait, I need to end the stream. We found it in a sewer. Hope you guys enjoyed it. They did not.